Hi, welcome. Yes. I want a solid hour of you saying the N word. <laughs> what? Not how that works. He was trying to be a janitor at Black Rifle. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Hey, drink water. <laughs> <laughs> First time? Third time's a trip. <laughs> Man, oh, I don't no. like the dick hammer. <laughs> now we open these so everyone can pop one. Yeah, yeah. Your voice is always so buttery smooth on that high, everyone. I, I think yeah. I'm just gonna like take all of the all of your content, feed it into like an AI voice thing, and I'm gonna use that to like read bedtime stories you, to my yeah, children. Yeah, you got that audible alert. Yeah, that's where you're gonna use it for. Work. Eleven well, labs, get the eleven labs. It's just gonna be N word after voice over. <laughs> oh, no, Brandon. No. Oh, I've got that on recording. I don't need the AI for that. <laughs> like, uh oh. Yeah. Oh, I got a bone. Are you guys now. working on a white claw sponsor? Or? No, they I don't think you don't have to You don't have to drink it. We just pop it. Cody, do you? That is like so together. Good. Like all at once? Yeah, it's a synchronized. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, we do the three, two, one. It's like our clap. Clap! Clap! Yes. When we remember to do it. Here, we fucking did it. All our ice is already melted. Yes. (laughs) Show, are we good? (laughs) We're hot. Everyone looking hot. Everyone looks hot as shit. Three, Three, two, one. Oh, that was slick. Nice. You got a facial. I got bukkake. <laughs> <laughs> it starts hard. Like it's wet over here. It's Shoot. nice that your first one was on camera. Yeah. <laughs> That's for yeah. the Patreon. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> you guys got Patreon. You have to have wink. G-Van blur that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And just add slow sound yeah. over it. Yeah, put it in slow oh. motion. <laughs> Can be like, oh, you can delete that entire podcast now. <laughs> you wouldn't care. Cody, do you want to sign us in? Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Unsubscribe Podcast. I'm joined today by Mr. Eli Double Fat, Brandon Herrera, Call Me Chris, and Oompaville. Hi. Yeah. Sorry, I got distracted because I just see Brandon's head. Also, I'm like, I'm like, oh, you get like two cameras, bro. Two angles. Oh, boy. Hi. Should I look back up somewhere? No, you're good. Okay. You, you look wonderful. You got, welcome. Hi. I'm Hi. so excited to have both of you on. You are just an, an additional surprise we did not yeah. expect. Sorry. No, don't apologize. That was a really polite way of saying she wasn't invited. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it the fucking hell. Fuck help. out of here. I didn't want her <laughs> own. <laughs> what did we say? Boys only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You've been asking me to do it for a long time. I know. I'm, I'm really bad at I'm really bad at doing I'm here for moral support, to be honest. I was like, you know what? Can you come with me? I'll only do it if I got someone on my side. That's right. That's right. You're just worried about us? I'm worried. I'm worried that I'm going to get... I'm just PR. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) I'm worried I'm going to get harangued. (laughs) We have a snow Mexican here. Yes. Yes. Cinema so Mexican Canadian. Yeah. I know. We yeah. were, it Toby, Snowbird. you were the one that we were oh, saying that to? Or Brandon. Brandon. Someone oh, yeah. was like, yeah. Yeah. you never heard of like, No, I, like, I never heard it. I was like, I like that. Cody's one of the slurs. <laughs> <laughs> you know, pull him down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's floating. <all> right. <laughs> you always have to kind of gauge your friends. You throw the light slurs yeah, out yeah, first, right. and then it's like, okay, they're kind of cool. <laughs> Snow Mexican. Dog okay, we're good. We're good. In bomb. No, man. Stop it. Really bad. I'm so sorry. Spit on it first. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and we're already seeing the campaign ads. Congressman Harris says it's okay to slur. Yeah. <laughs> the terror in your oh man, they're gonna have a Based. blast. So yeah. you guys, thank you for driving down, like first and foremost. And mm-hmm. then we had a great time yeah. yesterday. We just ate yeah. Mexican food. Uh, it was pretty good. Great. It was pretty really solid good. food. It took a solid two hours for it to come. <laughs> Finally came, and then we all enjoyed it. And then I was learning about both of them more in depth. And I was like, oh, so many questions I can't ask. Yeah. Dear God, do they have fucking stories? Like, <laughs> we, we can start with the ginger. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we just talked <laughs> about that. Dude, ago. the pocket ginger? Yeah, it's pocket, pocket ginger. ginger. It's hairy, dude. Look at that. It's a root. Wait, it has hair on it? Well, it's got like fibrous roots and stuff. And then if you. Huh? You just, no, keep going. I thought you said eat it. I was like, I'm no, 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 don't, don't eat it. <laughs> you don't eat that part. No. This is his go to. This is his. <laughs> it's kind of like up. my thing mm-hmm. in a weird way. Has it's like it an always apple. been your thing? For a long time. Huh. Yeah, for yeah. a very long time. Like since I was a child. No sh- Okay, like, so this is like, like a 10, 20 year thing, not like a like long time, like two months ago, I just started carrying around. No, 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 no. Like, like, uh, <laughs> like it has become a part of me. Yeah, it's oh. part of my brand yeah. at this point. It's all over the house. Personal brand. It's like sort of uh, not embarrassing, really, but I, whenever I tell people about it, they're just like, what? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, anyways, we'll just move on. Because, you know, but people it, in our circles, like, there's that split second where I'm like, is this a fucking bit? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah no, for sure. No, it's, it's mm-hmm. like my zen, mm-hmm. you know? 
Mm-hmm. We put you like all three of us put our pot, concealed carries on. The <laughs> yeah. Yeah. His was ginger. Yeah. Like, Mine's just ginger. It's really hairy today. He's got pubic hair. Yeah. And last night I found out both of uh, I was well, you was, that's what I was like, you want to drink? He's like, no, I got ginger. And I was like, mm. <laughs> huh? Mm-hmm. He's like, yeah, it's just ginger. You know, you don't, you just eat it. It's really good. It's, and then he went in scientific explanation of mm-hmm. why it's super healthy for you. It's very good for you. Yeah. <laughs> you should all start carrying pocket ginger. Yeah. I might. Work like a little apple. into that. Yeah, no. Yeah. It has a lot of <laughs> Dude, like, if you have you asthma? Take little bites off of it? Yeah, I take little bites off of it. Like a rabbit. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. It's, it, do you guys Can have you overdose on ginger? <laughs> you can, I have. Really? Yeah, it's a blood thinner. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's <laughs> like... It's like Wait, it's you <laughs> OD'd on... I didn't like literally. Did she run in and like chest yeah. press yeah. with his needle? He did the North yeah. Camp. God, he's, <laughs> he's doing the ginger again. Yeah. He's strung he's out, out on ginger. <laughs> <laughs> if you get cut, you're just a leaky boy. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. yeah it's, a, it's, a, uh, it's, it's a blood thinner. It thins your blood a little bit. It, so I used to take a lot of it before I would work out. I would drink like a cup of coffee and then take some ginger. And it's, it's just pretty solid pre-workout, honestly. But uh, yeah, it, uh, it makes your heart beat a little quicker. Because because your blood's a little thinner. Those Chinese people were on to something. Yeah, the yeah. Chinese mm-hmm, people. Mm-hmm. I think it's them. That well, yeah, <laughs> most of the South Coast. If Western they know how to yeah. cheaply make their labor force more effective, they mm-hmm. they got it. Cigarettes and ginger. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and oh, no OSHA. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Speaking of which, this is like the the Indian. I think it's the Indian uh, construction workers that have that like special energy drink that literally is just full of amphetamines. Oh so yeah. They'll have buildings up in like three days. That's oh, it's wild because wow. they're all just methed out. They call uh, that huh. back in back home in in uh, Virginia. That's like um, it's a, they call it framing powder. Like all the, the yeah, contractors, yeah. they call it framing powder. They just you know do dr- whatever. What, what do they I call contractors? Where you're from? I don't talk about it. <laughs> We've done that powder. twice now in the, the podcast. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're joking about yeah. The, there's a, a group of people south of Fayetteville that like the Lumby Indians that. Uh, would be our sheet rockers and mm. everybody would it sounds like a slur but we were just genuinely <laughs> saying like <laughs> they were good at, at mudding like it's what you call you know the yeah. you know right. spackle yeah, and, yeah. Uh, yeah spackle Spackling. mud yeah. uh so yeah call the mud people <laughs> nice <laughs> and it's like yeah. if you don't know it's like jesus christ what the hell's wrong yeah. with yeah. you yeah. Like, no no they're like they're just the genuine people. craftsmen yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're fine it's craftsmen <laughs> it's goddamn mud people it's it's when you say it like yeah. that yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's about their artisan yeah. <laughs> craftsmanship. It's so when like, you add the qualifiers, you know, <laughs> that's when it starts sounding a little hateful. You sound like grandpa at Christmas over yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> we can't say that. When you yell it, it's not, <laughs> good. It's not good. It's bad. Yeah, it's how you Anything's it. a slur if you're angry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. I feel like there was something I was saying the other day that, that was a pretty sweet slur, but it didn't. It wasn't. It actually wasn't. No, yeah, I, what I, was I, it? I don't remember. I, I know innocuous. That, I thought you were yeah. proud of just like, yeah, I said a real slur yeah. the other day. It, was, uh-uh. it just came out so naturally. <laughs> I felt like, man, this should be one. Yeah. That's, yeah it's like one I was of those like a, words. Like a Columbus, sort of. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A pioneer. A pioneer. Yeah, a pioneer. Exactly. First. Exactly. <laughs> well, the, we got ginseng, and then, or not ginseng, but um, ginger. ginger. And I, I'm going to tie this around really terribly. We talked about the Chinese. We talked about the mud people. Accents <laughs> and why... Your accents are fucking oh, on God. point. But my big question was, okay, you do fantastic white impressions. Do you ever <laughs> venture out of... <laughs> what is this podcast, man? I what don't you know what you're doing. What's did your you agenda? Do, uh, yeah, yes, want- I can do a lot of accents that I'm yes. probably not allowed to do. And it's just because I like, I like imitation and I like She to- does them for me a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should we explore behind that closed doors? <laughs> yeah, all that. that's exactly what but you think. Like oh yeah, <laughs> talk to me like a poo. Well, it's funny because I actually grew up with like a lot of East Indian people up in Canada. Like a lot of my friends are, but it would be wrong for me to imitate course, yeah. them Why? publicly. Oh. I don't know, but what I do like with them, and they're they're fine with it or whatever. Yeah, but I'll give I don't you a Mexican be. pass all day long. Yeah. No. Oh. Do, yeah, I'll because it's weird. You get to see <laughs> both. We can, we can give you the brown And that's pass. funny, too, because I've literally done, um, like, I speak a decent amount of Spanish, or I did, like, back in the day. And um, I, I would... I would <laughs> <laughs> she. Oh, and, um, <laughs> but I would speak Spanish in some of my skits, and I would... People try to cancel, cancel yeah, me for speaking of the language, not Wait, even just the accent. Fuck out of oh, here. Oh, yeah, so now I'm just like, I just don't even try. Yeah. What? They're, they're that, sensitive up there. It's, it's weird. Like, I love the language. I love the culture. <laughs> really I studied are. it. And they're just like, 
Actually, no, all the yeah. Mexican people or Spanish people. Are like, I bet they love it. Fuck. Yeah, they love it. And I'm, but yeah, it's crazy. It's what we always see is this, because I've had habitual line crosser. He's a military guy. He does accents, but he is, is, is just eyes overlaid on a map. So yeah. he just talks and he uses the accents from there. Yes. And no one cares yeah. because it's he's like, oh, it's just a country. It's a it's a aircraft. Right. Yeah. A okay, but it's like you it's doing a Mexican Mexican accent, which I find hilarious. Yeah. You're like, no, I can't. And you're yeah. like, the fear in your eyes, you're like, no. Well, no. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, cancel culture is so real nowadays. Mm-hmm. When it's like, it's really like 90% of people probably totally cool with it. Yeah. But it's that 10% that's like. Mm-hmm. It's probably more than that. It's just that Gen Honestly, Z yeah. TikTok audience that's just like, it's so, yeah. they just want to be bothered. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. People yeah. love wow. watching people's downfalls. They want to consume themselves. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. They don't have any real problems, that's why. Yeah. We should find out how to end it. (laughs) We should. (laughs) This is what this is about. (laughs) Welcome to Unsub. Yeah. We dissect the world problems. I got an idea. (laughs) (laughs) He's like, let's go find them. (laughs) (laughs) Whoa, whoa, whoa. (laughs) (laughs) Let's turn to music. (laughs) We can turn to music like John Lennon. We're starting with the two Mexicans Wait. on the podcast. He got shot oh, no. in the head. Yeah, if only John Lennon imagined something more useful like a world without 38 specials. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah. He was the first to suffer from a parasocial relationship. Yeah, true. That guy. That's true. Old John, John Lennon. Yep. I never thought about How's that. that? His, 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 his fan shot him. Him. Yeah. Yeah, because wasn't that like he read Catcher in the Rye and just mm-hmm. decided to mm-hmm. gank him in the parking lot? Is it? Yeah, outside of his How hotel. How do you put those two together? The catcher in the Rye and John Lennon. Well, when you're you off your meds. Yeah. Yeah. I guess it was, it was just, yeah. just crazy. Never mind. Yeah, I, never mind. That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> How do you put those together? Make it make well, sense. <laughs> you're fucking nuts, dude. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, those aren't there. Yeah. Schizophrenia. Uh, there was, yeah. Yeah. Sense. You're yeah. like Charlie with the red thread board, like, well, you see. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I... We talked about it yesterday. I was like, I'm not going to ask questions on it. I don't know if the guys want to hear this. Nicole. Wow, we can't use any of that. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that, oh, yeah don't use any of that, guys. Horrendous. Yeah, and True. you're the bad one. That's crazy. Yeah. 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 Terrible. <laughs> Just cuts to that. Jesus. Like, oh, fuck. Step into 2024 with confidence. Thanks to Manscaped, where revolutions are next. As the new year approaches, why not make your self-appearance a breeze by keeping your body well-groomed? Introducing the Manscaped Performance Package 5.0 Plus Premium Ultra. Razors, beard cream, brushes, cowboy hats, ultra. The ultimate inclusive kit to help you feel clean cut and confidence as you should. Featuring the powerhouse lawnmower 5.0 Ultra. This next gen trimmer ensures precision and ease when tackling your toughest hairs. So kick off 2024 with the trim above the rest and use code unsub at manscaped.com and save yourself 20% off and free shipping. What are some of your resolutions this year? <laughs> Minus to trim the twig and berries because the tree looks bigger when shrubs aren't around. What about you, Cody? What are you gonna do? I'm shaving my pubes. Audience, do you know what I love about Manscaped stuff? It's waterproof. Manscaped also threw in two free gifts for you. The Boxers 2.0 and the Shed 2.0 toiletry bag. Now, resolutions may come and go, but a well-groomed you is here to stay thanks to Manscaped's latest and greatest. That's 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com with code UNSA. Happy New Year's to your balls. Your podcast, <laughs> fucking slang, by the way. Oh, thank you. Complimented yesterday. Today, we've talked about it. It's yeah. inserting the Very footage early. throughout your. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I really enjoy doing that that way, like that activity. And you kind of get to know people a little bit more that way, or the audience gets to know them more. Cause obviously, like, I had him on, I know him, but the audience gets to know them a little bit better. And I like to, like, fill in eight millimeter and mix up the. Except the media and stuff. It was very fun to record. Yes. This, yeah. They film in eight mil. Explain the camera. 70 millimeters. <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's just an eight millimeter. And then we just use regular like Sony cameras and stuff. It's nothing crazy. But I like that because it just gives it that like almost like 90s MTV kind of and then the 80s fu- mm-hmm. like vibe kind of thing. So people really enjoy watching it. Or the attention span I find is shorter nowadays. So it yeah. like holds people attention. 
Well, that's what you were saying yesterday. You're like, yeah, we do that. And we're inserting all that footage while the podcast is going. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You probably have, you don't have drop offs. No, not, not, I mean, obviously, in every video one, there is, but it's actually like the really retention's good. really, really good with those videos, which is cool. Yeah. Watch yeah. Both of you have fantastic editors. Like, oh, yeah. yes. <laughs> Oh, yeah, this is one of the few things like I don't know if you both start do you originally I'm assuming you both edited your own content mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and yeah. then when did you start branching into hey we're gonna hire people to do this but still I can tell you both probably maintain a lot of control over oh, yeah. yeah I've got the queen of my channel Tara who does she so she started editing for me in 2017 mm-hmm. but she was didn't know how to edit at all uh, and I edited my own videos until 2020 or 2019, I think 2019. And uh, I was just like, my channel was doing very badly. I was like, this is my last hope. <laughs> okay. Because I need to <laughs> what is bad? Time. What is bad? Go on that, that real quick. like 20,000 views a video. Oh, Christ. Like, pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's pretty rough. Bad. I had like 300K subs or something like that. So yeah. it was just like, I didn't know what really I was doing or like what to do. Yeah. It was very stressful. Um, and I asked her, I was like, Hey, like, <coughs> this is sort of a, I gave her a business plan and, uh, she essentially agreed to work for free. Uh, I did not, I did not let her work for free. I still paid her less than what she should have made, but more than what I was making. How many cents per hour? Uh, <laughs> it, it was, it was, it was like 500 <laughs> bucks a week. So it was still good. It was still right. pretty solid. Um, but it was like, it was definitely like, man, you're doing so much work. We're working like 16 hour days, both of us. Mm. Um, trying to get this stuff to work. And then she slowly blossomed into just like, pretty much, I would consider her the best editor, especially when she puts her mind to it, mm-hmm. uh, the best editor on that I know of on YouTube, for sure. Like the this whole scam series, how long that was, um, and how many different parts, and how that was organized, not to mention just like the funny edits and whatever, and like the framing and all that stuff. I think she's a genius. And she has three minions that work below her. Mm-hmm. Yep. So... Mm-hmm. Tara? Tara? Uh, Tara, yeah. Tara. Tara, whatever you want to call it. Tara, her. you fucking cry. Yeah. I texted you about that yeah, episode when you started yeah. releasing. I was like, yeah. yo, you're editing or the cinematography, the, everything mm-hmm. about that series. I was like, yeah. holy shit. She's like actually Super incredible. talented. She's incredibly talented. Yeah, All of us like, recently like have started to use like you and Papa Meat mm-hmm. as examples of like how to do desk content. Like, oh, yeah. I've literally shown that to my editor. I'm like, this is how you do retention deeds. Yeah. Because that's... that's peak uh, desk content, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, Tara, her job now is to take, like, the graphs and stuff from analytics and just, like, incorporate that into the editing workflow. Mm-hmm. So, like, we, like, she Numbers. especially has just kind of take gone and run with it. She has a huge, huge brain. She's met giga brain. It's awesome. Gigabrain. Her, Curry, is another editor that I have. Uh, Squeaky and Coop. They're all cool as fuck. It's I love awesome. all their names. Yeah, they're all yeah. cool. <laughs> <laughs> The parents named them, right? <laughs> yeah. Squeaky. Unfortunately, <laughs> yes. Do they all have slick back hair and matching jackets? Yeah. 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 That's yeah. when they walk in. Yeah. They go, ha. Yeah. 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 They have cigars. We use Da Vinci. <laughs> Very racist. <laughs> Switchblade combs. Yeah. 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 <laughs> See? That oh made God. no sense, but I'm glad we all jumped on <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We shared a that moment together. Yeah, <laughs> and then yours, when did you start editing and then have somebody take over? Because yours is also that same pace. Yeah. It's retention beats and watching somebody just get it. I'm like, fuck, this is why she's doing so well on the internet. I got it now. Yeah, I got it. Uh, yeah. I mean, thanks. Um, yeah, for like a year and a half I was editing. And then for this past year and a half, because I've only been doing this for like three years now, um, I have one editor, <laughs> Jay. I love him so much. I'm so thankful for him. <laughs> like, um, he's incredible. And he also helps out with um, like videography and stuff too, with the podcast and with, um, I do like ghost hunting videos and stuff too. So we collaborate and like mesh so well with that stuff. And it's so important. He's and awesome. he, we like share brains. It's he's like, cool I, yeah, he met him and yeah, he's, and so is Tara. Tara's awesome too. They We're do. very thankful for Tara and Jay. We should have them fight <laughs> We sh- <laughs> to the no. death. It makes sense. If I lost him, I'd be, I'd be ruined. I should probably get, Another yeah, you should fight. definitely. I know he keeps saying he's like you need somebody else. You can't. But you know like, when you find that one when that's just like yeah. so good. Yeah. And it's like nobody's gonna do it as good, but yeah. He'll I never leave expand. me. He's gone. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Shit. Yeah. Uh-oh. Just keep yeah. giving him a raise <laughs> and keep giving him bonuses. I'm like, please never leave me. That is a really special thing when you can talk to your editor and they automatically know just, like you don't have to give them notes. No. You film it. They know what you want. Yeah. And you could just like there's videos like my editor Delance is you know fucking awesome. He's been with me for years. I will put up videos that I haven't watched because I trust him to right? do it right. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'll just set them live. I'm like, okay, I, I know you did that right. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's on my list, too. Because yeah. I had to go through, like, five editors, I yeah. think, before I, I finally hired one that used to work for Mr. Beast. 
Oh, and yeah. I was like, this fucking guy knows what he's doing. And yeah. so it's worked yeah. It's worked out. Same thing. I don't have to give him notes or anything. Who, who's your editor? AJ. AJ? Yeah. Hmm. He was at Range Day. He's quiet. I don't know okay. if you met yeah. him or not. But great dude. Thank you, AJ. Yeah. All, the, the this is just, all the editors. Yeah. Yeah. Love you guys. We're nothing without you. G-Van. <laughs> yeah. yeah. G-Van, yeah. yeah. fuck you. Yeah, we, uh-uh. just, uh-uh. we can't make him think that he's special. Oh, you know, that's true. Remember, you can't do it without us, though. Yeah, true. <laughs> we oh, pay that you. Carrot over. We pay you. <laughs> Just remember, if we die, yeah. you're unemployed. Yeah. <laughs> but they'll make some I sick the merch and cash yeah. in yeah, on it true. real quick. Yeah, they got footage that. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, they can yeah. ruin. I got all a, of us. I got a, I got three terabytes of Dropbox that are <laughs> career in. <laughs> <laughs> terabytes. Shit. Oh, yeah. we all do. I think. Oh yeah. Yeah. Keep That's why you have to be real cool with your editor. Yeah. You're like, I'm sending you unedited stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 We good? Yeah, you yeah, need to be like friends with your editor. Like, I want a solid thumb drive of an hour of you saying the N word before I give you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Making a trade here. Oh my God. There's a lot of trust involved in this relationship. You Holy make a shit. Mexican stand up with your editor. Hey, if you want to work for me, I need you to read that. This is called Record. mutually assured destruction. <laughs> no, the only way to it's peace. just black. <laughs> yeah, I don't have any. It's yet. just black. <laughs> well, we're not so. That. <laughs> Nowadays, NDAs don't really do shit. No, because no. like yeah. you can there's if so you get loopholes. If you're like a YouTuber and you have an editor sign an NDA or and there's a bad experience, then yeah. the editor is just going to make a video. And if you mm-hmm. enforce the NDA and you sue the person who thinks you are bad, it's just going to be look. It's going to be a bad luck for you. Yeah, like so it's just there's no point in signing really any yeah. NDAs now, especially in like the if you're involved in Twitter in any way. Yeah, it just makes no sense. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Cody. <laughs> <laughs> Cody's my favorite Twitter account now, which I am still very terrible at it because yesterday I was like, man, none of my friends pop up and I didn't realize it's there's two yeah, steps. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, you yeah, know, it's very slow with that stuff. Yeah, yeah. So last <laughs> night I was like, man, Cody doesn't pop up. What is this? Oh, oh there, there he is. is. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now I see my friends. If you engage with him, he'll show up in the for you. I yeah. I have forty. Yeah. I think I follow forty people. Yeah, 40? I was slow to Twitter too. I'm it's terrible at Twitter. I'm terrible yeah, at Twitter. So go. It's like, called X. It's, Sorry. Oh yeah. Yeah. I call it Twitter. I'm gonna, I'm yeah, gonna need I, you to go like that Tyler the Creator tweet. <laughs> <laughs> for me. That's, I want more of this in my feed. <laughs> <laughs> That was really funny. <laughs> there, was, there was there was that whole thing where like British police are investigating because uh, a girl got in uh, VR. Oh yeah. Oh I, yeah. Like, I Tyler the Creator has that one tweet where he's like, "How is cyberbullying real? Just walk away from the computer. <laughs> yeah, it's like, close, close your, your eyes, <laughs> dude. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, the, the whole uh, the VR chat world and all that, all like the virtual stuff where people are like, it's there's like, what's that book that we were just listening to about? Like, uh, Ready Player One, Dimensions of Caves, or something. Oh, yeah, I forget what it's called, but it's like oh, about yeah. the ethics of the online world and how eventually the things are going to become illegal. Yeah, like, there, were, there will have to be laws because, like, reality is now sort of like crossing an intersection with things that are not real. And at what point is it illegal to, uh, like, what, 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 when will there be crimes that you can commit on X? I mean, there already aren't. kind of are, like like slander, mm-hmm. libel, things like that. Right. There's, there's things in the They've real existed. world that do apply. Right. But, yeah. They've existed yeah. before. I, like, what is the new stuff? That's but VR. Like VR, VR and, and the virtual be. worlds. Yeah. And, like harassment. Yeah. Like if you're just saying, you know, if you just continuously comment on someone's shit, is that, like if you show up at someone's house every day, you're going to, I mean, that's like illegal. You can't yeah. just keep on yeah. doing it. You can't harass someone for an extended period of time. Oh, that's actually true. I never thought of For it. For an extended yeah. period. <laughs> that, that little caveat on Hopefully the end made me nervous. <laughs> yeah. You can do it for a little while. <laughs> Once their attorney sends you a notice, yeah. then you can yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. back off because you're yeah. a bully. Yeah, exactly. It's illegal. <laughs> it's not covered by the First Amendment or whatever <laughs> fucking nonsense. The First Amendment ends at the rock through the window, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Fucking. That's it. funny. <laughs> We talked about this last week. This is fucking ridiculous. I told you it would be brought up. Those are Asian. Can't I do this? Hi. Welcome. Yeah. <laughs> we talked about, uh, so I think we can discuss this. When you move from Canada, you have to have your. Oh, departure taxes? You know about this? Yeah. Uh, what? Cody, yeah. Uh, yeah. So do you know how much departure tax and do you know it is how much you've made your entire lifetime? Oh, God. I think they're trying to do that in California yeah. and New York now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. On this whatever business you have. <laughs> yeah. So she, it's crazy. For her to move, 
She's paid taxes, and you pay 50% taxes right now? Uh, personal's 50, uh, corporate, or as, as 27, or almost 30%. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, this is our, yeah. we had old people convos Help last night, me. if you wonder what we that's talked about. That's why I'm moving yeah. down here, because that's like, it's crazy. I think she crazy. likes you, too. Yeah. She might, uh, like, yeah. she might yeah. like you a little bit. Yeah. She's like, yeah, 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 but taxes. But honestly, <laughs> but taxes. Bro. I'm still edging an aneurysm over 50% yeah. personal income. Yeah. Isn't that wow. crazy? Personal income tax. It's and I'm, I'm sure, I mean, I'm not, like, I'm just kind of, going out on a limb because we can really sort of, well, not that I do it, but you can sort of manipulate the IRS yeah. in certain yeah. ways. Like you can, yeah, CRA? You can uh-uh. avoid oh, well, I do taxes, it. I do it. right? <laughs> you can't evade them, you can kind of avoid them. Well, because there's, um, there's legal ways to do it. Exactly, yeah, there's, no, yeah, yeah, there's and there, shells and all sorts of stuff. Yeah, But I'm assuming there's not, exactly. It's I'm sh- assuming harder. there's not as much you can do Mm-mm. in uh, the great white north uh-uh. to avoid that 50% burden. No. Yeah, there's not, there's not. I wonder if you sell, like, this is just spitballing, yeah, but I yeah. wonder if you could sell some of your corporate holdings to an American company. That's what, exactly what I'm doing. Okay, yeah. I'm going to be selling my company to a new company I'm going to be making in the States. That makes which, sense. So it'll be, like, terrible for the next little bit, just, like, paying a lot of money. Yeah. There's a way to, um, like, put it off or to pay it at a, at a separate time. Like until you leave like or until you come Interest or like, I don't know. So it's just right. like, you might come as well. Come and get me. You're like, yeah. Yeah. is there yeah. extra yeah. for yeah. tax yeah. fraud yeah. in it? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Who's going to come get you? <laughs> I got to go hey, back. My family's the out there. I'm mounting you. I'm mounting rides up. Hello. Yeah. Use that. they're wide. Use that 40% to just entice your family and friends to come. To come down. I just can never I would rather do that. Over. Hello, Mounties. Are those level four plates? Yeah. <laughs> plates? <laughs> oh, this is going to be easy. <laughs> Freedom. <laughs> Rides away on a horse. <laughs> now I have uh, less of a tax burden and free horses. <laughs> All right, cool give it a hat. go. That's Get back funny. to you with how that goes. But really cool hat now. <laughs> but yeah, lots Uniforms of taxes. Red. I pay so many. <laughs> the taxes yes. are a big L. That's bad. It's crazy. That's annoying. That's it is wild. crazy how yeah. much I pay in taxes. You just get uh, which I mean, I get, blessed blessed to be able to of have to pay that. Like, but you know, it's that a problem. Hurts. But it still thinking, hurts. It's it like still you hurts. come from nothing. Like I came from dirt, <laughs> and then you like work your way up, and, you're, and they're just like, I'll take half. You know, well, that's kind of like watching somebody ride away with your Lamborghini. Lamborghini they stole at gunpoint, and you're like, "Wow, I'm just blessed enough to have my Lamborghini stolen." It's like, yeah, that's a good way to look at it. Yeah. I know. But fuck, man, I got to buy that, and then it got taken yeah. away. Yeah. Taxation without representation. Mm-hmm. Wars have been started over less. <laughs> True. Mm, mm. The wars have been started we? over that exact <laughs> thing. Yeah. Where That's are we? <laughs> we are discussing the world's problems at this table. Yeah. We tend to do that sometimes. What, yeah. is the, uh, uh, what is the amount for uh, departure tax there? I don't know is the exact 50, amount. Or is it like 20 or something? Like I don't it's know the big. exact amount, so I don't want to say it because I don't know exactly, but it's a lot. <sighs> it's a lot. It makes me want to throw up. Imagine that, Cody. Imagine getting a bill. You're like, I want to move just like a mm-hmm. hundred miles south. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you're like, well, this is how much it's going to cost. Yeah. It's like, yeah, oh, you've paid so much in taxes. We want to take all of it. Because where you're from government. has a huge impact on how much money you've made. Yes. Especially when you're a YouTuber. Yeah. Yes. Well, I mean, shithole governments, like, for example, like California, New York, people like that, trying to implement that exact same thing. It's yeah. just a financial Berlin wall. Yeah. They're just trying exactly to keep people it, there. That, yeah, exactly. That want to leave. Be, yeah, exactly. So, like, yeah, it's going to suck in the short term, but long term, it's going to be huge. Yeah. So, Especially in this great it. state of Texas. <laughs> <laughs> Where we have no personal income tax. <laughs> I know. Yeah, it's Don't, leave right. know. Don't leave them in the... Oh, sorry, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say bud at the Don't end. Don't say bud. Uh, <laughs> you can't the bud, dude. <laughs> That's normal in Canada, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Hey there, Bud's kind of, like, offensive a little bit in Texas. Is it? Yeah. I would have thought I was in trouble. in Virginia. If what are you talking about? Yeah, exactly. If I was ever, if Savannah was ever, ever if I was like, hey, da, 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 and she was like, okay, bud, I'd be like, what did I go for? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you I mean, always call me bud. That's because I'm from Virginia. Apologize. Yeah, but I'm from Canada. Like, if, if a friend I'm said that. I'm just saying that it would be one thing. here, the colloquialism oh, is like I see, saying, I see, I see. bud is like yeah. an offensive oh. thing. No, that's like yeah. a term of endearment. Yeah. yeah, you hey call like bud. people you're really close with. Hey, bud. bud. Like if a friend said that here, it wouldn't be a big <laughs> deal. But if a significant <laughs> other was like, him. "Okay, bud." Hey, bud. Oh, I, yeah. oh, so bud. I think that's the like equivalent hey, to like, bro. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. I would be like, "Hey, bud, how you what doing?" The fuck? <laughs> 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 I'm not your bro. I've called significant others bro. I, I call Heather bro all the yeah. time. Okay, yeah. see, yeah. I say yeah. dude a lot. I say dude. Yeah, it really depends on the mood. I'll say like, "What the fuck, dude?" Yeah, like dude, bro. We very rare. Babe, how often do we say bro? All the time. 
Okay, how's that different than bud? All the time. It depends it's on them. Two letters. Not really. It's I not. say love of my life. There. Oh, <laughs> love of my life. She's never said that once. <laughs> but now. <laughs> Till now. Look at her. Maybe once. <laughs> Actually, Over text. I wrote, <laughs> yeah. I wrote a question for this, actually. Oh? What is the least favorite thing about one each other? <laughs> mm. <laughs> He's like, we came well, for violence. Oh, that's yeah, Eli oh, woke that's up funny. and chose violence today. <laughs> you have to have something. I'll yell at mine right now. I don't know, babe. Uh, you look yeah. wonderful today. You're amazing. And you shed hair every I fucking where. Really every fucking where. <laughs> <laughs> She put it on the shower wall, like take it and just yeah. shove it against the wall. <laughs> I went up to my personal bathroom, uh, was it yesterday or two days ago? It just ends up in his underwear. I, don't I went how, poop like, and I got up. <laughs> and there was a fucking, one of her hair in the bathroom. She has never used in her fucking existence in that house. Yeah. I was like, why, why, why is that in my toilet? In my toilet right now. <laughs> because she lied about never using it. Yeah. <laughs> That's where she, she used her poop toilet. <laughs> 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 She's like, I gotta see what all this craze is about. <laughs> She sat in the throne. <laughs> You've never lived in a house unless you have shit in every restroom. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm living the dream, brother. That's actually funny. When I was a kid, I used to shit in my parents' toilet. And they were like, <laughs> I just wanted to see if it was different. You know? That's funny. That's really just funny. Like, I used to use, yeah, I used to sleep in my parents' bed. Is that weird? No, I, I just, yeah, just weird. feet That's not weird. touching the ball. Yeah. <laughs> just yeah. like, I don't get it. This is great, but I don't get yeah. it. Their toilet's <laughs> bigger than mine. <laughs> it's like they're giants. <laughs> you have a little potty you to sit yeah. on. Yeah. yeah. But uh, the 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 main thing though that I dislike about her, uh, to be honest, is uh, so I really like the red hair, right? I like the I like her hair. She's very she's sort of that's like one of her things mm -hmm. that she's known for having beautiful hair all the time. Thank you. Um, but. Uh, when it's red, it also turns things red. <laughs> All of this. So, like, if I have anything that's around where her head is near it, it just fucking turns red after a while. Like, you gave us pillows. They're, they're, they're red the pillows now. <laughs> Sorry, man. The pillows are red. Are Not you, from my head. Are you dying it every night? <laughs> no, <laughs> just red no. Dying it. no. Oh, and then, oh, it just take, it, if you take a shower as well. Oh, yeah, it looks like a, looks like like a, a murder, murder scene. scene. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Red, mm -hmm. but you like it. Yes. 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 Is that why I couldn't see you naked? Yes. Six months I waited. What's that, what's that woman? Uh, the, the the spy woman, Scarlet. What's her name? Scarlet Johansson. No, 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 no. Oh. This is like a game or something. Oh. I, I think I might be making it up. Um, in my head, but there's like a game of this woman <laughs> with red hair, and she's dressed just like her right now. Oh. So, All right. kind of my thing. Guys, <laughs> comment below. <laughs> yeah, comment below. Game, what do I look like? Scarlet Girl, red hair. She travels around. Huh. Is that the dinosaur? She's oh, alive. I know what you're talking about. What the fuck's that uh, game called? Like the... Carmen San Diego? Yeah. 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 Oh, my God. Bro. That's crazy. Con I've tried to look that up really? so many times. The world is yes. San Diego. Yeah. That's yeah. 90, early 90s. Yeah, yeah it is, dude. That was, on PB, that was on PBS back in the day. Huh. Wow, I was not even born until my Well, I'll take it. Go soft. I think I remember her being hot. She better be. It's all kind. She's hot. She's Was hot. she? Yeah. She's hot. She's hot. Uh, <laughs> would you look her up now? Like, mm. She's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Take it back. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Chuck away she looks back. really British. <laughs> <laughs> Oi. <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh, my God. <laughs> so yeah, look it up. Like. Yeah, that is what oh, you look it up. Your, your just... family tree looks like a telephone pole. <laughs> <laughs> Carmen San Diego. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, that's okay, who I yeah. remember. I'm much whiter. G Van, pull this up. And yeah, my hair yeah, is yeah. not as that's crazy. Did they make Carmen San Diego that's Mexican? Funny. I think they remade Carmen. it and made her I mean, Mexican. Mm -hmm. He's Carmen. Her San last name. <laughs> <laughs> He's last Carmen name San Diego. See, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, she, she was straight white when like when, yeah, it was on, when we were. I kind of remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's it's definitely a, um, a white lady. Maybe it's a uh, one of those. Uh, what are those things where you think it's different? Mandela, oh, effect. Mandela effect. Mandela effect. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what I was gonna call. It's like a minnow theory or some shit. <laughs> Makes sense too. <laughs> like this is it. <laughs> Good old chick. That's just a minnow theory. <laughs> well, that could be I don't a Mandela like ginger. effect. True. In your universe, I don't like it was called minnow ginger. theory. It's I don't like the taste of ginger. I don't like the smell of ginger. So when he eats a lot of ginger, and then I like kiss him or near him, I don't like the smell. You but had that one. You I had love that him one anyway, primed. and I don't say anything. That's what you hate. 
about me. I don't hate anything about you. Well, I hate that stuff about you. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking despise your I hair. Hate you. <laughs> Fuck you, Carmen San Diego. <laughs> 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 he starts calling you that. Want some hair? No! <laughs> oh, Eli and the Unsub podcast, breaking up marriages yeah. before they happen. <laughs> 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 he just starts it's shoving really gender less down her mouth. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> My wife. My you wife. eat this ginger right now. <laughs> it's hiding it around no, the house. <laughs> Dude, there yeah, is, no, they're, everywhere. they're everywhere. Ginger candles. It's, like ginger. Shit. it's, I, it's just like a thing that is just. He's going to start microdosing your healthy. food with ginger. Yeah, honestly. I I, I, but I try it sometimes. She tries it sometimes. It's pretty spicy. If you get it's a good root spicy. every now and then, it's like a it's like an experience. Because they're super, super spicy. Some of them are very spicy. Yeah. You don't bag it or anything? You just uh -oh. raw it's dog? Uh -oh. It's a root. <laughs> yeah, I'll, like, tri I'll triple the root. ginger roots. I, I'll, root. I'm just imagining Eli's search history. Like, what happens when you raw dog a ginger? Oh, fuck. <laughs> no, 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 no. no, no, no. no. <laughs> Delete? Yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> well, too late now. <laughs> Gotta finish. Yeah. Ginger, by the way, helps with impotence. Really? Oh, I don't know. I just made that's why I let it be. I mean, it probably yeah. does. I mean, technically, a blood thinner, so it actually. Blood thinner, it's also yeah. it's anti inflammatory. Mm -hmm. A lot of health. It's benefits. also an analgesic. It's, a, it's as effective at treating migraines as sumatriptan is. That's the main reason why I take it. Yeah, we get and it's also uh, anti medic no, no, sure. It helps with Cody. Uh, nausea. Mm -hmm. I, ginger. Do you get migraines? Yeah. Yeah, we like, get migraines too. Like, like uh, the like CBD gummies have been helping. Oh yeah. That. Yeah. yeah. That's I what I, that works really well. I destroy some CBD and also a good. large nugget of ginger and then just hope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pray. Yeah. You guys got everyone. You, do you get migraines? Not usually. No. Fun fact about Eli. You've never had a headache before. No. What? What? I don't get like. That's crazy. Wow. I bet so I get a little like dehydration. I get well dehyd I get a hangover, but sure. like that is to uh, that is self caused. It's yeah, not that's like just out of poisoning yourself. Yes. <laughs> into yeah. getting but yeah, no, I'm dude, just you're lucky. Yeah, that's, awesome. that's crazy. Dude, watching everyone, because I know Cody, he'll be like, I can't, dude. Oh yeah, no. The cr Christmas it's podcast, you if no one knows this, he was uh was we had ocular migraines. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I, I, I couldn't Terrible. see that whole podcast. No, I did not even know that yeah. yeah, where it's like your peripheral vision. Yeah, like everything coded. closes yeah. in yeah. and there's oh, colors and shit. Do you get like the fucking little lightning? I don't get the I don't get the ear, but the the, mm -hmm. the blurry vision. I couldn't oh, see yeah. during that fucking podcast. No. Oh, yeah, that's why I was just slamming white claws trying to make the migraine go away. You could have told us. No, fuck that, dude. I'm no pussy. I'll just sit here and suffer like a man. Okay, I'm fine. I've been like guys. I had like CBD shit yeah. back at the house and whatnot. Yeah. You like, yeah. Oh, he, was, he went hard. It doesn't like hit. Yeah. Like, like yeah. there's mm -hmm. a lot. I don't know. It's, for me, it lasts days sometimes. Does it hurt what, while you get the ocular migraine? Do you have no, pain? The ocular happens for like and a couple hours like, and then suddenly yeah. the pain. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly how it is for it's me. It's like uh, aura. Dude, last time I had an ocular migraine, uh, it was like I didn't have any headache after, but it felt like I was in a car crash. Mm -hmm. oh, like God. it was like the ear ringing, just like. Yeah. Like in almost like yeah. shock. It was really weird. I felt super dizzy. Mm -hmm. cool. you That's get my vertigo new thing. too. Yeah. Give me a lot of vertigo. Yeah. <laughs> Have you always had that? Or is it like uh, it starts yeah. as an, it started as an okay. I've yeah. always had migraines. Same. Mm. Same. Since I was like eight. Yep. Since I was a baby. Same. Like mm -hmm. seven or eight. Mm hmm Yeah, it's, brutal. It's a genetic thing and dear God, it sounds absolutely Huge L. fucking. Yeah, yeah, massive. Yep. I lose at least three three days a month. Where I just don't yeah, feel no good. Yeah. Like my days are ruined completely. Same. Do you have everyone that gives you advice on how to cure it though? Yeah. Hey, drink water. <laughs> hey, drink water. <laughs> have you ever tried the ear thing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what about this? You ever done this? Rub like, a banana peel in your head. Yeah. <laughs> Swing a cat true. three times and throw it on exactly. the ground. <laughs> Headache's gone. You're like, yeah. I don't. Yeah. Think. Between <laughs> the, the vision and the vertigo, it just sounds like anxiety with pain. Yeah. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, and it is also yeah. very anxiety inducing as mm -hmm. well because yeah. it's like a it's like a true mood shift too. Mm -hmm. Like you have a I don't know if you guys have the like the prodrome like before the migraine, you can just tell you're different. Yeah, mm -hmm. like your brain just doesn't work right, and then you have the migraine, you feel relieved, and then the next day you also feel like sort of depressed, yeah. kind of fucked up yeah. for a day. You have like a migraine hangover. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah. yeah, no, we've talked yeah. about so that. So it's like too. a three day thing. Yeah, it really is. Talk. It really it's is. interesting that, that you would have like a depression afterward because normally stuff Noticeable. like that, it's like if you have like a serotonin dump or something, mm -hmm. that's where you have like depression as like a hangover of that. Like yep. you do like MDMA or some shit. Yeah. yeah. It's like very, very, very noticeable. Uh, uh. Like when I used, I used to have a lot of panic attacks mm -hmm. and they would always be substantially worse before and right after migraines. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. And I didn't really notice it until like a couple of years ago. I was like, man, this is weird. I can feel that I'm just really anxious after I have a migraine. Yeah. This is really strange. So. Mm -hmm. It sounds absolutely fucking yeah. horrendous. It's kind of nice having somebody that gets it, though. Yeah. It, you know? 
The it's cure. Super fun. Yeah. It's Harry just, Ginger. Yeah. <laughs> we just need Ginger, dude. <laughs> Harry Root. Figured it out. As he goes back into his Google, Harry Ginger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Health benefits of Harry Ginger. <laughs> This it naked made, guy yeah. can cure my headaches. <laughs> Technically, I'm a ginger. Yeah. My, mine have never been better, though, I do have to say. The ginger is a, is is, mm. a, is magnificent. Mm. Do oh, get your fucking... I know I need to get your EDC, one. bro? That, Everyday that ginger. ginger EDC. EDC. I'm on, EDG. That's on my EDC. I know. He your keeps EDG. in the and everything, dude. Yep. I got keeps that. Keeps that motherfucking thing on him. I keep that motherfucking <laughs> thing on me. That and my everlasting gobstopper. Nice. Wait, what the? Wait, is that? Is it an actual? Like, can you eat it? Or? Uh, no, it's for, it's a it's like the it's supposed to be the real prop from the movie uh, Willy Wonka. You can eat anything if you're brave enough. That's true. 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 Uh, it was four hundred bucks. Harry Gingers. Yeah. Are you serious? So, yeah. Huh. I like oh, you smelled. <laughs> it doesn't so smell it's like the actual much. one. Yeah. It look. I mean, it looks the same. Yeah. yeah. It does. Hmm. But it looks cool. kind of also like shit a little bit. <laughs> when you really look at it. <laughs> oh, it's from the seventies. You know. <laughs> yeah. Now, oh movies. Blah 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 blah. Um, you talked about earlier your horror. You do ghost hunting. Mm-hmm. I find that mm-hmm. shit. I, I'm not a, be- I am personally fucking not a believer. Fair. And I've had shit happen, but I'm still, I'm like, well, it's probably like the wind and yeah. the yeah. bounced off. Fuck the, the, the off Satan. If you're yeah. 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 back, yeah. bounce off the back. demon. <laughs> yeah, I'm over here like, yeah. Occam's Razor says I'm more likely to be retarded than this. <laughs> <laughs> like, <you> know, like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where's this Venn diagram? <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> True. <laughs> but it's hard because there is shit. Like, oh, like, yeah. Uh, I can't explain I that. Fuck yeah. Yeah, that's kind of the fun of it. It's just like, yeah, most of it's just explainable. And Which, some of it's like, well, maybe it could be something. We had some weird shit like during Heather's thing where even oh, like, yes. I mean, not yeah, as a we, believer, I'm like, yeah, yeah. All right, right I'm not going to lie. I don't I love you, that. You guys went to the same place we went to. The, uh, the fuck, what was that called? The it was Memorial, here in Texas. York, Yorktown. 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 Yorktown Memorial. Yeah. Oh, in San Antonio? Uh, it's like two no, hours. It's like two hours. So. Yeah. Oh, I don't think I've, no, I haven't gone to Yorktown. We've been to Hill House up in um, Yeah, he went there. Oh, cool. The boys, that one the boys went to Yorktown. Yeah, the mm, boys did. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. And then you did, uh, Sam, you went with Sam and Colby, correct? Yeah, I've gone to them lots of places with Sam and Colby, which uh, they're awesome. They always like uh, their series that the big one that fucking catapult that was insane watching oh, that yeah. big yeah. three or four episodes I was like holy shit Sav had me watch that the series. most recent one like the Conjuring or yeah the Conjuring yeah, one yeah, yeah. and watching that level because oh yeah it went ape shit on yeah that, that was kind of crazy and I feel bad for them in that way because they Same. got taken advantage of oh yeah because they're really into it and like when I when when we're all together like ninety percent of the stuff doesn't make it in because it's all. Whatever, oh, it's yeah. like a door, a, yeah. whatever wind or something like that. But um, yeah, these people are just like, I don't know. Was that the like scandal yeah. that they? Yeah, yeah, yeah they were like the knocking stuff. The, toe. Which was the hammer toe, yeah. Yeah, yeah. which yeah. was used by like the people. The hunchbacks like, got the hammer toe. 1800s. Follow me. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's so scary. It's, um, yeah, no, they were like really affected by that. And then when all this stuff happened, I was like, oh, shit, that sucks. Quasimodo. But yeah. I was hoping, like, I was like, oh, because that first episode, you're like, holy shit, what yeah. the fuck? Because I was like, well, you can Google these dudes and know exactly anything about them. When they had the assistant or the whoever they're, the guy that travels with them, I was like, well, that's still explainable. And that's what sucked. For and sure. then you started reading all the oh, yeah. back information on yeah. them. And one of them is this daughter of uh, the ghost hunter guy. Mm-hmm. So one's like, yeah. I f- comes from a famous ghost hunter. I know. And you're like, ah, yeah, it all added fuck. up. And then they owned up to it and they made a video and they're just like, shit, like we thought so, but it's not. And it is what it is. But they got into like all the theaters in the States and like they were already huge. Right. And they still are. Oh, um, theaters? But yeah, that was, I don't know about any of this. Yeah, yeah. About the Conjuring series. They got theaters? into every theater in the States. No shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. And this is the one where like they got basically scanned in it and stuff, which sucks. That, but they're, it's not great. I mean, yeah. And it sucks because uh, Colby just he just beat cancer and like went through all this shit. Aww. And like. But they're, and they're doing a lot better now. Shout out to him because he didn't even talk about his cancer treatment during it, did he? Not no, really. Not he, like, really. He, he addressed it. And then for like six months, he was going through uh, chemo and like all these other treatments and stuff. So, Which that really does go a long way as like character witness that they're not doing shit for views. No. You know? No. Because no. they didn't. They he really didn't. do love their craft. Yeah, because they didn't they like, oh, I got cancer. Let's fucking make a. 
a cancer t-shirt no, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. would they, we t- they made do. a sweater, but they put, <laughs> well, they, <laughs> but they put all the proceeds towards cancer research, yes. which is exactly it's so yeah. fucking. No, they're good. really genuine, genuine guys. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Buy uh, the merch. Uh, gotcha. <laughs> also, speaking of being good people and not taking advantage of disabilities and things to make True. money, though the running joke is it all goes to my son, right? And he's like, yeah. oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Portion of the, autism research. We're seeing what Ryan yeah. does with it. <laughs> we don't know yet. Yeah. He strong. still doesn't understand he can buy stuff. <laughs> a portion of the proceeds awesome. go to autism, which means Eli. Yeah. Hi. That's a, that's a good loophole. That's a good yeah. loophole. I just like so. write it. What do you want to spin it on? We're researching you, bro. Yeah. We just gave him a prepaid thousand. I would actually love to do this for science. A prepaid thousand dollar Visa gift card and just fucking roll with it. Oh, thank you, man. Yeah, see what happens. See what just give does. him unlimited access and to we're Google shopping. What he does. And- yeah. yeah, he doesn't spend it. Uh, a Roblox, which you can spend a lot of money. You well, can spend a lot of money on Roblox. Yeah, dude, Roblox. Dang, he's gone. Roblox is sick. Yeah. Do you know? Tell you about that. Like in the worst oh, way. Cody's story. Oh, Cody's tour oh, time. God, John, oh, John. Thank like, you, Sav. He, yeah, John's like eleven is this, years old, yeah. and I bought him some Robux, and I left my credit card on there, oh. and so <laughs> it was on my PayPal account. I wasn't really looking at it. I was just getting donations from my streams in there. Yeah. So in little increments over a year, he took five grand from me. Yeah. What? Dude was rich, yeah. high roller. Dude, he, had Dude, a, he, had, he probably had an aircraft carrier. Oh, and a yeah. He had all he had those so Roblox bitches. Yeah. Those Lego so bitches many, be like, yo. Yeah. So many girlfriends. Yeah. <laughs> 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 So many 37 the man took enough men. money for me oh, to probably yeah. do a light <laughs> hit on the dark web. <laughs> yeah. But that was cool. Five grand. Oh, I just that's so funny. Sucks. Oh, yeah. it's the best because you were on. No, you were here. I got a text and Cody's like, motherfucker. Like, What's up? He's like, my son. <laughs> like, what? What do you do? He's like, this dude spent five fucking grand <laughs> on Roblox. First off, how? <laughs> well, it was over a long period of time, so he can't. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. then he was at your gra- uh, your mom's house. Yeah, he was at my mom's house. <laughs> tell that tell that conversation. No, when you so uh, so I call and he picks up the phone. He's like, "Hey, Dad, what's up?" I go, oh. "Robux." He goes, oh. <laughs> <laughs> It throws the phone down and like runs away. Oh, that's he knew. so adorable. He wasn't just like, "Oh, it's like." Free. He was like actively no, embezzling. Because, yeah, you can still, you can see because he got he got you know, like you know fucking <laughs> white collar <laughs> Robux crime. <laughs> He got, he got the kids will be all right, you know. Yeah. Like he's already getting into white collar crime. We've skipped that whole like trouble. That's all. They always get caught because they get too bold. So it was yeah. like right. when he started, it was like a dollar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, dollars. Yeah. He has to know how to. And add then eventually, by the end of the year, it was <laughs> yeah. like two hundred. That's yeah. when I called it. Was like, when the yeah. fuck did I get two hundred dollars in Robux? Yeah. So. That is so. I funny. guarantee you, was like, that's such a fucking idiot. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> He'll never know. He's listening to me tell the story again right now. I was gonna say, isn't John here? Yeah, he's here somewhere. Yeah, he's around the corner. He's like. I feel like that's a moment of pride. That's, that's yeah, I know. I was like, that's of. a little How old impressive. Is he now? <laughs> uh, he's fi- or, uh, 14 now. Yeah. 14. Okay. Yeah. He's so, it's like we joke about it. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. I'm just John kidding. is one of the sweetest kids yeah. who yeah. Yeah. Other than that sweet white too. collar crime. Yeah. Well, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's also, <laughs> that's my boy. <laughs> it's also not like that. It's not like Roblox is, is a predatory site. Yeah. Right. Children, you think it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Well, I mean, you know, when he's 18, I'm just going to do a lawsuit against him. Yeah. Get your money back. Yeah. I'll be so bothering you do a YouTube video about it. Yeah. Here, I sue my son. <laughs> that is an Cody. Evan Hafer level long. <laughs> Cody, was he a, potentially across state lines when this happened? Oh, oh you yeah. You FBI. 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 Yeah. Fuck yeah. You vlog it. You Why don't even be able to vlog. G-Man, can we just turn, like, can we get the, uh, you know, SVU logo pop up now? <laughs> dun, dun. My oh, next my victim. <laughs> <laughs> I saw <laughs> Oh, God. I don't want to spend money. I bought him, um, I spent what, like five Robux or whatever. And I was like, what hair do you want? He's like, no. I was like, what? Let's change your character. No, daddy. I was like, okay, I forgot. <laughs> this is, okay, nothing changes. He will not spend mo- any money. He plays the levels he plays and mm. that's it. And he will play them fucking until and, and the sun stops coming out. Motherfucker yeah. lives his life on default. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. He loves bacon hair. That's all I know. Bacon it's called. Hair, dude. <laughs> Cause <That's> so funny. <laughs> bacon hair. one of the other kids was like, he still has bacon hair. <laughs> Ryan's like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> like he does, he's like, I don't give a fuck about this shit. <laughs> like, oh, bacon hair. That's sick. You're going through an entire, like, how much money was that? Fuck up. Of I mean, this literally, game. literally seven hundred grand just yeah. into the air. Plus, 
an additional like uh, we were led to believe that we were the, we had to ramp up production and like had to start building out a team. So I started hiring people and buying space and lo- having lawyers do FDA stuff and building mm-hmm. SOPs and like getting everything prepared. So when the machinery and everything was delivered, we'd be ready to hit the ground running. So it was like leaving every single possible thing that could go wrong uh, up to that guy, right? Like up to the the contract that was signed. Um, and like, you know, every, every, everything that we could have done, we did right. And then, uh, yeah, it was like 736,000, I think total for the, um, for the contract. And then an additional couple hundred grand in just paying people and rent and insurance, uh, and liability insurance and getting lawyers to do shit, paying artists to do shit, buying, uh, fucking hundred thousand pounds of ingredients and stuff like it just and this is well dealing with the fucking scam which i don't think people realize when you're being led on on a business decision that you're trying to make Mm -hmm. or formulate for the future that is a giant fucking wrench in the (laughs) the system like okay here's our dates this is when's gonna happen i'm going to hire i'm gonna get everything processed i'm gonna spend hundreds of thousands of dollars Mm -hmm. just to get to this segment and then they push it back further and you're like that's weird Huh. Plus, he's making content on top of all yeah, of that. Like, of like multiple, yeah. like every, every single, single day. day. I was like, how the, f- it's, it was crazy. That's mm-hmm. why you DM'd him. And then, to, uh, it was before. Yeah, I knew she, him she, during we, this whole period. Like, she came like the week before it all happened, before we Literally. found out. This, this dude was like, uh, yeah, we, like, get, we found a receipt. So like mm-hmm. everything had shown up, the machinery and everything, like we knew it was legit mm-hmm. uh, just a few months after the contract was signed. My dad and... Uh, my dad and, and a couple of family or a couple of my uh, employees went to Georgia to go pick this shit up. Mm-hmm. So like we knew everything was legit, um, and it was just like there were some red flags, but overall we had everything we needed. We found out in January, like six seven months later, um, that there was a receipt of the dude buying the shit from China and then lying about that and then like you know taking the plates off and putting his own designs over it and stuff. Mm-hmm. And that's what took him. It took him months to do that. Yeah. Um, and he, he, to be fair as well, he upgraded all the motors on everything. Like he did work on the machinery. Like he actually did upgrade the machinery. It's the weirdest scam. But it's also, yeah, he it's just like misrepresented it's so everything. Complete yeah. misrepresentation. Yeah. Yeah. I would have never signed the contract if, the, if he would have been clear on that. Like that's, that's like the main point, right? Um, yeah, I obviously wouldn't have <laughs> fucked myself over. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> so it's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's yeah that's exactly. <laughs> yeah. And it, it was, it was like, it's it was terrible. a very good deal. Uh, and yeah. he was a, he's a very smart guy. He had a great track record. Everything was solid. Um, and then, yeah, that we found oh. out and it was like, he sent his, his, his henchman, uh, basically at the time, his henchman. Now I would consider a friend of mine. He sent yeah. his henchman to kind of save face and like, you need to go up there to, to, uh, make them not because we were starting to get like aggressive basically uh, and I wasn't you know I wasn't like threatening lawsuits or whatever at that point it was just like what can we do to make this work and trying to build this world to make the guy more comfortable so he'd want to send everything um, and uh, he sent this fellow Will up to to Texas from Georgia and that guy immediately realized that he had also been fucked over and scammed by his friend yeah. of like multiple years and we kind of worked together and I was like, did you guys even build this shit? Like, did you even fuck? Like, you're an idiot. What is wrong with you? Did you even build this? And he's like, no, we bought it. Mm-hmm. And I was like, what? Which is one of the best reactions on yeah. the, dude, this yeah. is on that, uh, is that episode two or one? I think it's episode one. Mm-hmm. One. It is the most amazing. He's like, what? <laughs> like, you get to yeah. see Will? Bought Will? It. Yeah, Will, yeah. His he reaction was like, to it. Yeah. Because. He was like, I didn't know that they didn't know. Like this whole time, he thought that we knew. And I do believe yeah. him. I genuinely do believe him that he did mm-hmm. not know that we didn't know that it was bought and imported from. from. Uh, it was Inception on scams. Mm-hmm. It, it was, was crazy. like, mm-hmm. Will is the first dream. <laughs> Oop is the second dream. Yeah. So, huh? Wait, what the fuck is going crazy, on? Dude. It well, was really crazy. I feel like that. Like, I feel like a lot of us have dealt with stuff like that in the past where it's, you know, people just assume like, oh, this is a dumb fucking YouTuber. Who doesn't know anything about business? Yeah. Uh-huh. This is a, a quick cash cow. Yeah, and absolutely. they pull some dumb shit like that. It's mm-hmm. like, no, we're all pretty independently independently successful business people that are here for a reason. Right. It's like we're not literally yeah. fucking brain dead. He thought he could do it for sure. I believe he initially believed that he could get me exactly what I needed and deliver everything, uh, but fleece me and also take as long as he wanted. 
I think yeah. that's like the two. I don't think from the very beginning he intended to completely scam me. Obviously, I have the machinery. I mean, it all works. It's fine. It's perfect. It works yeah. great. Um, Which did you bring that? Uh, yeah, it's over there on the. I thought you meant the machinery. I was like, yeah, I brought it's the little machinery. Big. It's <laughs> seventy five hundred pounds. <laughs> yeah. I just, I just throw want a little pot real quick. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We throw in them sugary roofs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a uh, he. I, I, I think that he kind of got it. Let, let the whole thing get ahead of himself and like, cause I think he's a good yeah. dude as well. Yeah. Um, and I think he just made a terrible mistake. Um, and I know obviously he's a massive piece of shit, but it's easy to justify stuff when you're in your own little bubble. Right. Yeah. So I, I, I had like fucking YouTube ad PTSD and I was looking for like a shipping address on the label of that box just mm -hmm. now. Make sure I know. Sure I was like, wait, hold on. I'm just, I'm pulling out <laughs> a couple of Because oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to like, eat berry. So this berry me. actually contains oh. berry. No, 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 no. No. No, see, that's you mean this doesn't actually contain ruby grapefruit? <laughs> yeah, that's one of the things Ooh, we're, we had uh, such a long discussion yeah. last night. <laughs> We're, we're like, we're still learning a little bit. This one has rainbows. Uh, yeah, exactly. So oh. that's the thing. It's like, you, you're you like, there's some like legal hurdles to naming things flavors. There's some legal hurdles to that. If it if it has any sort of realistic connotation, like if you say fruit or berry, there's got to be fruit or berries in it, right? So we didn't really know that uh, because I figured, you know, uh, white mystery airheads, what the fuck's in a white mystery airhead? <laughs> You know, this like you know, fruit flavor. It says natural grape flavor. It is. There is <laughs> that in it. It's yeah. natural grape, and it's it is grape berry. And it's vegetable juice. Okay, berries. Yeah. And college juice. students, uh, white seasonal. college students, Tinder profiles, white mystery. <laughs> yeah. So, so we gotta. Yeah. So we gotta do a little bit of a uh, our next batch of bags might have a little different naming scheme on them or something. But uh, overall, the product's not going to change. Which one did you say was your favorite? Uh, I like honestly, honestly this the one's fruit fucking punch is great. Pretty great. I will try that. Before the rainbow's it was really good. The one berry too. one. Rainbow's, Holy shit! I think rainbow's shit, my bro. favorite. It's so good. Get the fuck out of I here! I know. Mm -hmm. Like just, I'm a candy fiend. Yeah, this stuff's so yeah, good. Same. I love sour stuff. Oh, me too. Yeah. Yeah. These, it's my it's kryptonite. Some, the Bam. best sour stuff I've ever eaten. Right? Have you tried some? Mm -hmm. Babe, come here. No, I'm not throwing it. This is that one's brand new. Really good. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. What the fuck? I know. I do like that. Babe. Mm -hmm. Oh, you didn't want to come on camera? We, She's uh, got it over there. It's pretty wild. I mean, it's it's like, it's good. It's oh. cool. Oh, and you got a gun on it. Yeah. That's pretty cool. We love guns. Yeah. What? Yeah, got them. What? I love guns. <laughs> I actually <laughs> have a few. <laughs> you yeah. do? I do. I have a few. But yeah, if you guys ever want a flavor for Unsub, if you ever want a flavor for your channel, Cody, if you ever want a flavor, donut operator flavor. Oh, yeah. You know, we can turn yeah. it around and we'll week. call it stop resisting. <laughs> 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 nice. Ouch. As long as it doesn't say the berry on it. <laughs> <laughs> Take a pinch off your thin blue line. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. Just make it black, black, yeah. and then a oh. blue stripe in the oh, middle. Oh, God. Welcome. You're welcome. That's not where I thought you were going with that. <laughs> yeah, no, what did you know? I was thinking the flag. What the flag? I'm just trying not to say some things in front of Chris. <laughs> <laughs> you can say stuff. It's I'm just right. trying to yeah. save Chris's career at this point. <laughs> I think, it's, I think it's ended already, to be honest. <laughs> we, we want that horror movie to succeed, yeah. right? Cody, drink I don't more know, here. Man. You, you need more of those to make you drink. <laughs> that's funny. That's that's awesome. Holy that's cool. shit, bro. That's good. Wait, what was the no, other one? Great. We also learned how to make candy, by the way, by this accident as well. Because we, we paid these co consultation folk like a, a, an exorbitant amount of money. I'm so sure you, you, wanted, terrible. So you knew you wanted to make candy before you... Start. Oh, yeah. oh okay, yeah. Sure. yeah. Yeah. We, this is like 2019 idea. Did the consulting um, work or not? So it kind of did. The, I know you guys, I'm sure you guys have had experience with consultation. <clears throat> it's very expensive. Yeah. Consultation is incredibly expensive. And, and a lot of times trash. A lot of times it's fucking uh -huh. trash. So we got a recipe from these people who uh, they knew kind of what they were doing. Mm -hmm. They sent us a product that was similar to what we wanted. But I think, I personally believe that they, uh, this is probably just my scam brain working, but I personally believe they specifically left out aspects of the uh, the recipe so we would have them come in person and pay them 150 bucks an hour yeah. to be on the floor to get everything rounded up. Um, so like, it's licorice. So in order to get licorice, you have to have, you have to have the, a combination of sugar and starch and they have to gelatinize. Mm. Uh, if not, it gets weepy. Have you guys ever seen candy that's like wet almost? 
it like gets wet on the outside. Moist. It's like kind of gets like it's a hard candy or whatever, and it kind of gets wet on. That's not intended. You're not supposed to. That's not supposed to be a thing. That's um, that's water activity, and that leads to just instability and and like terrible shelf life. This shit will literally last forever. Uh, it'll just get dry and hard, but it will not go bad. It will not. Uh, it will not go rotten or anything like that because it's sugar and starch that has been gelatinized uh, in a very efficient way. Mm-hmm. We had to figure out how to do that on our own by reading fucking textbooks. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and we wasted. I don't even know how many how many pounds of. Yeah, you guys thousands. made a lot. Thousands. Um, of pounds of candy we made, it was just like, oh my god, this is the one, and then yeah. it would just weep. We yeah. were like, oh, and then we would weep. Like, I'm not gonna lie, like that's a lot of flavor and like a lot of what I perceive to be sugar and sour and whatever for 130 calories. So yeah. you know that's what's hilarious? Wild. I'll Holy tell you what, Brandon. Shit, dude. What's this crazy is-, is that uh, that there are less calories in that bag than we have mm-hmm. listed. Because mm-hmm. really? we yes, mm-hmm. our original recipe that we got from the consultation people, that's what that is. Yeah. We put like. 25% less sugar in the product. No shit. Which, yeah. and, and, yeah. like, if you want a reference, I, I just want to show, a, like, Jesus each Christ. one is 130. Yeah. Which, mm-hmm. if you compare no, that to... It's, the, yeah, it's, no, it's, that's per container. No, yeah, so it's... 130. 130 three, in a container. Per three. three yeah. 130 three-serving uh, chunks in each container. Which is yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. Like, yeah. if you look at your normal... Reference, how much is a diet or a Coca-Cola? It's, like, 280 calories mm-hmm. with 60 like grams of yeah. sugar. Yeah. Yeah, uh, like, that's the thing. It just doesn't have all like the, the yes, dyes and stuff. Uh, in about it too. two of those I, is ninety calories. Two yeah. of those strips is about ninety calories. I, I believe, and it's yeah. good. Like, oh yeah, and you like I usually eat it in a couple sittings. Like, you, mm-hmm. I don't know. You only okay. So yeah, for reference, that's, that's, like that's a lot of 30, it's, yeah, it's really good because yeah. it's thirty grams of sugar mm-hmm. for three giant. That is one Hershey kiss. I, <laughs> I want to reiterate: this is not paid for. They didn't no, pay a shit. No, I love good products. This is our like natural reaction. Yeah. Yeah. It's also candy, by the way, too. Yeah. So, like, there's no, I mean, I was about to say there's no need I'm to sugar coat it. I'm looking at It's fucking <laughs> dumb. <laughs> you know, like, show us that. No like, I'm coat. not a big sweet eater. Cody, yeah. you're not. And you, like. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the thing mm-hmm. is people are like, why don't you make it? Why don't you make it sugar free? No. Because I would rather eat no, sugar than no. fucking sucralose. Yeah. yeah. Like, be ca- let candy be candy. Yeah, but it's like, candy. It's okay. not terrible for you. It's not cancer causing. Like, you know, I, I will lead on to that as a personal training workout and all that shit is don't let sugar free doesn't help you. You're spiking your glucose levels. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fake glucose levels. Your body is confused now. And you're like, oh, cool. I saved 100 calories. Eat the sugar your body needs to, to break down. Especially after working out, glucose, protein. That is what is need. This is what I'm going to do from mm-hmm. now on. I'll do yeah. one of those in a protein shake. Your boy is good. Yep. Don't use fake artificial mm-hmm. shit. Yeah, uh, that's what. Uh, and there's also fuck. there's quite a few candy companies that are sort of the same, where they they're like, oh, this is real candy. We're not like trying to pretend that we're not candy. It's not sugar free. This is a healthier alternative. It's still fucking candy. Yeah. Right? It's literally still just candy. Uh, it is, I would consider it something that I would prefer to eat over most of the candy that I see. Oh yeah. Um, Easy. just simply because it's very few ingredients and we make it ourselves literally. Yeah. That's the thing. And, that's just uh, so good, bro. I and, fucking yeah. hate you for this. Natural <laughs> dyes too. The, the dyes like for the yellow, that's turmeric is in the product. Mm-hmm. And ginger. Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, exactly. No, put ginger in the fucking product. Now I feel like <laughs> yeah. part of the, man, yeah, right. the brand. <laughs> we, you need to make pocket ginger flavor. <laughs> you don't you use should, no, 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 no. Don't do don't, don't do the flavor. Just sell pocket ginger <laughs> on the website. <laughs> Just a clump. I swear to God, that started as a joke that will sell. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah definitely. Will. Will. Yeah, for sure. No, we talked about it do it. Yeah. Yeah. The flavors are all legit. They're all no, natural. I don't uh, care about that. Now you're putting just pocket ginger on the website. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just ginger I'm root. Just side. root. We sell root. Go root. to the store, buy it for a dollar, sell it for $20. We're letting you all know this is a scam. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to do it anyways to make margins because you support him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oompa's yeah. ginger. That's all. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> That's me. It's awesome. Though. Check the place. <laughs> Technically speaking, that's right. That's right. So Pretty you guys quick-witted. are quick-witted. Well, you were saying it was an uh, aphrodisiac <laughs> and a uh, yes, you know, yeah. cock mm-hmm. enlargening. Yeah, it uh, helps horses <laughs> race. 
your uh, your thick thick candy. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, Sir, thick, thick. Circumference. Yeah. <laughs> diameter. <laughs> what was the scariest moment in your like ghost hunting experience that you were like, holy shit? What the fuck? I'm trying to think. Have I told you? I probably wouldn't listen. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I so think are, that, are you both believers? I'm, no, stuff? he's not. Okay. I'm actually. No, I, take I'm him. an instigator. Like yeah. I said, uh, I said, fuck me in the ass. You know, if you're real, fuck me. Yeah, that's, that's what not I said. how that works. We, we both <laughs> kind of did that. We were also hammered at yeah. this oh, yeah. like super haunted place. With I'm Heather. super sober. Now they're married. Yeah. Oh, that's oh. Kind of <laughs> fuck me in the ass. We fucked okay. him. Okay. Do ghosts, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't say that I'm a believer particularly. I would like to believe as I would yeah. like to believe in everything that's fun to believe in. Yeah. Um, uh, I think you've told me of some, I but I can't remember I what they were. I don't know why I can't remember everything that's ever happened. Just like, I mean, lots of stuff has happened. You hear noises, like lights go on and off. I've had like my TV turn on, all that kind of stuff. But it's like, uh, most of the stuff that's like the creepiest is through, you know, the tech or whatever. Yeah. When you're asking questions and it's mm. so specific yeah, and you're like, strange. Yeah. what? It'll say like my grandma's name, which is like through the Alice box or something, which mm. is like Bernice and doesn't, or like something like that. And then it'll add up. Stuff like that is when I'm like, maybe? I think that's what you guys freaked out on was the box well, thingy. I was fucking with uh, with Heather a little bit because there was the one that's basically like a theremin. It's like if something gets close to the Yeah, the antenna, yeah it's the REM pod. Yeah. REM yeah. pod, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So we did it in like, we called it the retard cage because it. it was down in the basement <laughs> that nice. literally they would lock up like the mentally ill or whatever in this fucking cage. Hell it was yeah. a literal fucking cage. Like a wrought iron yeah, like, yeah, yeah. torture cage. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. And so we, we were all in there. We're joking <laughs> oh, around. <laughs> <laughs> we we have this pod there in the middle, and we're just like, me me. Okay, this thing works. It's sitting there alone for like you know 10, 15, 20 minutes. We yeah. just start instigating stuff. Mm. I'm like, okay, well if you're here with us, like touch the thing or whatever. It's like, yeah. Well, that could fucking happen at any point. Yeah, if you're actually here, do it again. What? Oh, yeah. All right, one more time. What? All right, well, I hate that. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> the thing, and you're like, you get like uncomfortable, and with the REM pod too, if you're like close to outlets or that kind of thing, yeah. then you're like, oh, maybe. So it's we've tried it like outside, and like that's worked. And um, the one time where I can't really, there's no explanation for it, is when Selena and I, she's the one that I ghost hunt. She's, she's my yeah, best you're, friend. Selena's pretty good. She does a lot of like haunted stuff. Um, we heard a little girl say hello right in front of us, and we were in a massive room where nobody else was. <laughs> like, See, hi! That shit is and I was like, like, we both looked at each other, and I almost shit myself. <laughs> I almost shit myself. Like, it, I can't explain it, and we, like, we have it on camera, so, like, it's crazy. Hmm. I can't remember. Uh, that's have you Winchester. ever shit yourself ghost hunting? No. No. Maybe peed a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's about when it. When was the last time you shit yourself? <laughs> <laughs> we hear it on some pretty recently. Ask the hard questions. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're getting down yeah, perhaps the soft, we don't discriminate. Yeah. Yeah. Taxes and shitting yourself, girl. Yeah. Actually, I, I, get, I don't remember. infant in this podcast. <laughs> How many taxes are you running away from me? <laughs> <laughs> shit. <laughs> and now she shit herself. Yeah. <laughs> Today. Yeah. On the podcast. <laughs> That is, those yeah. are the moments when if it happens, you're just like, oh, okay, well, only eight more hours. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, it's weird. But I like to get scared. I like that stuff. Like, I'd I like to like, do it with you. Yeah, I would really love to take you along and to do that. And yeah, you can you can do gone? all your shit all you want. I mean, I've done it before, but yeah. I've never. I've never not, not like seriously. Yeah, I've never like. But we kind of keep it light too. We don't like do it like. I full. keep it real light. Yeah, you do. I light. just start <laughs> looking for spirit Halloween shit. Yeah. And just like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, it, it, I mean, that, never mind. All right. We'll just we'll just go. We'll no, just go. Do it. Go ahead. No, we'll do it. We'll just go do it. Let's do it right now. All right. <laughs> let's get go the, right now. Get the rent pod. <laughs> let's call Tony. Let's go, yeah, we'll call Tony. We, yeah, so we, our driver. we hired a, a charter bus to take us down there so we could drink on the way. So by the time we got there, we were a little saucy and just antagonizing the ghosts. It yeah. was pretty it's a good time. Yeah. Apparently Sounds the uh, yeah. the the ghost the the main ghost people talked about there was uh like a rapist for like the nuns or the the nurses oh, working right. there or whatever. It's like Catholic hospital or some shit like that in the fifties. Yeah. And so, like, we went up there to the top room that was supposedly his, that they saw a lot of activity, and we were just, like, antagonizing. Like, yeah, you little beta bitch. Like, you couldn't go oh, out yeah. and get any, so you just had to, like, you know, do all this shit with your nurses, whatever. Like, fuck you. Now that there's dudes here, you won't say anything? Yeah. And then we're, we thought about it later. We're like, actually, yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, right? No, yeah, with, like, I went to West Virginia State Penitentiary and did that. And, yeah, like, that's what you're going to say because they're all pieces of shit. 
Right. Like, yeah. You antagonize. That's fine. Fuck you. But then when, when something happens, you're like, oh, shit. <laughs> like, I'm never sorry, mind, girl. Never mind. Never mind. Don't do that. Please. <laughs> please. <laughs> yeah. We went with, like, the guns from Supernatural and shit. And oh, like, All right. That's cool. <laughs> Salt guns. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I legitimately, I'm a, I'm a Supernatural buff, so I've got, like, oh, cool. all the guns from Supernatural. Oh, right. I see. Nice. See. That's awesome. That's cool. I just like you brought real guns to fight ghost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it <Dude>, works. What? <laughs> like, ha ha, pa pa. Yeah. I'm showing there. up to a ghost hunt, Eli. <laughs> True. Come on. <laughs> you have an orange safety this vest is... on. Yeah. <laughs> you know the hat. He's got his tag. Deer got urine. A tag, yeah. yeah. A ghost tag. Yeah. It's from tag. Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> Ode to <awesome>. Baphomet. <laughs> yeah. That's That's sage. Like, living the fucking dream. <laughs> What is your guys' favorite? And I'm going to ask all you guys this because this is a really good question for any YouTuber. It is what is your favorite style of content to do in film? Or in the past to the present, you're like, I really like this portion. I don't do it anymore, but, or I, I still do it to this day. Mm-hmm. Cody's his cop videos. He loves them. Absolutely love. <laughs> <laughs> Death. The, the murder that Depression. I look at every day is awesome. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> Cody's favorite thing. He's like, <sighs> <laughs> it's changed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just want to do vlogs now. Like, yeah. I got a vlog channel too. So, yeah, I, I'm just tired of the, the police stuff. Yeah, fair enough. It's, it's kind of taxing staring at that shit every day. Totally. Can imagine. Totally. Yeah, that's fair. It's like if every video of mine was Darwin Awards, I don't think I'd want to do YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, you got to switch it up. Yeah, that's what I do. Yeah, it's just like it's watching, you know, people shooting themselves apparently over and over again. It's like, yeah, I just, that's a little mentally draining. Yeah, yeah. it's losing its flavor. You know, now when I watch exactly. murders, it's not yeah. as fun. It's not as funny <laughs> anymore. It's like having Cool Ranch Doritos every day. Yeah. Yeah. You know, sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. First 10 minute yeah. murder vids, hilarious. <laughs> the shit hits. Number 11, <laughs> got tired. <laughs> Remember when we talked about this podcast stopping people from shooting themselves? <laughs> I know. Sorry. We love you all. <laughs> Positivity. We're going to go on to that next. But still, favorite content. Go. Minus. Uh, what's yours? What's yours? Hardcore porn. <laughs> when I had like my low view era. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the... Uh, <laughs> No, no, no. Oompaville uncut. <laughs> it's just him showing his penis for 10 minutes. No, dude, I was going to I was going to bring that up. My three terabytes, I just got that. My three terabytes of footage, there is footage that exists on my Dropbox of my ball sack out there. Because I was wearing this suit thing and my balls were just hanging out. I had no idea. What you, you, what are you Tara sent me what, a what screenshot the fuck is it? of my ball sack. A suit thing. What? Yeah, please go. Um, I don't, it was like a costume type okay. thing that I was wearing for a video. I forget you exactly You need to go in more depth than a I costume and but my was. balls hang. It was like uh like it's like I, I thought a suit. But no a suit. Yeah, thing. yeah, like a like a like a Halloween suit. Oh. It's not like a traditional suit like it like from Big and Tall mm-hmm. or whatever. Or of a birthday oh. suit. So you're, yeah. you're just free balling it and like Oh yeah, yeah, yeah my oh, balls yeah. hung out. They're pendulous. So it's like easy for that to happen. <laughs> Tuck the penis um, upwards. <laughs> Just that ball thing. Like, huh. yeah. I'm just stuck on pendulous being the Scrabble <laughs> word of the day. Pendulous. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pendulous balls. What, what was it? I don't, It was like a stupid reaction video of some like memes or some shit. It was like in 2020. It was a long time ago. Long and time then ago. she was like, we can't edit this. Well, she sent me a close-up yeah. image of my ball sack. And I was like, whoa. <laughs> whoa. Where'd you get that at? <laughs> I recognize the topography. Yeah. <laughs> She's playing reverse Uno. <laughs> yeah, exactly. She's in the, yeah, yeah, exactly. Brought yeah. the dick pic, and you're like, ah, yeah. I'm a fan. Yeah. Wait, what? You leave it on red. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, ooh. Oh, fuck. Um, oh, my God. What are we talking about? What's your favorite? Oh, uh, interviews. <laughs> I like interviews. And hey, what's your favorite style of content? Like ball sack. Yeah, yeah. Ball sack <laughs> video. <laughs> my 2020 ball sack video. <laughs> you're really good at interviews. Pendulous. Uh, yeah, I like the interviews. They're fun. Yeah, yeah you have a, you've been doing those for how long? Since now? my uh, my first one was with Andrew Tate, and that was in twenty twenty two. First, they're, one they're a blast. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. they're 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 fun. They're they're interesting. It's it's just weird because it's like I never thought that ever, anyone I I never thought that anyone anyone would want to just let me interview them. But it's like actually a popular thing. I mean, they all have like millions of views. Yeah, they look great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for you, like not having done those very much in the past, they look really, really oh, good. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah. yeah, it's mostly just Tara. 
to be honest. <laughs> she does a really good job cutting it all together. Getting all the shout outs are. Yeah. She's awesome. Um, I don't know. I like I like a lot. I, I'm getting more into um the traditional space now. I really like to like I really like doing sketch comedy and that kind of thing and piecing it together and writing and stuff. So I kind of want to do more of that. And I, I'm like, I wrote a movie and I'm going to be shooting one, like a horror movie and stuff. Get so. the fuck out of here. Yeah, We're so stopping cool. for a second. I want to know more about that. That is dope as shit. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. Hopefully in the next couple months we'll shoot it. It's um, it's like a found footage horror movie. Nice. Uh, cool. Yeah. It sounds sick as fuck. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, By I'm the way. excited. So I, I really enjoy that kind of stuff. But I also don't like to deal with people in the traditional space, so I'm just going to do it by myself with, like, a couple other yeah. people. The and way I think it'll be it. really good. Yeah, yeah, and I really – those are my favorite horror movies. It's, like, mm-hmm. those really, like, raw. But I can get – like, have a lot of fun with them and stuff. So A24 style or going exactly. back, even, like, Blair Witch. Blair Witch, and, um, 100%. Wreck. Uh, paranormal. Paranormal. Yeah, yeah. And if you need any help on the back end stuff for uh, VFX, it's almost like we know some people. Yeah, we know yeah. a couple of people. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Corridor might dabble. In it, okay. period. Uh, <laughs> they're they're decent at it. <laughs> they're, decent. All right. they're decent. They fucking crush the game. They are. But yeah. what do you, can you uh, open? Go into more. It's found footage, but yeah. is it like ghost or can you go into much right as of yet? I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to go just, into it. I don't want to ruin it. I'm not it, ruin it's it. But very cool. It's uh. There's. It's um. Fuck yes. pe- it's not gonna be what people expect. I don't think. Which I think will be really cool. Yeah. It's it's unique. It's yeah. very cool. Yeah. Unique in a very good way, I would say. Yeah. Was that always one of your dreams was like, hey, I want to make movies at the end of, like, for, like, hey, con- yeah. a lot of content creation and tell this new wave with TikTok in short form. It was, yeah. I want to make films or yeah. I want to do that. Now it is. I think that's hey. how we all started. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. Everyone's just a huge film buff, usually. Is yeah. I mean, what? I was always a film buff. I, ne- I didn't even know I wanted to be in the space. This was all kind of an accident. For me, really awesome accident, and I've tried to capitalize it on it as much as I can. So now, I think a lot of people sitting at this table were really awesome accidents. Yeah, like right. Everyone. We all got lucky a little bit, and then we just mm. and we all grew up. One thing we all have in common: yeah. very poor. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah, right? it means oh, a lot, yeah, yeah. and it also happened like I mean, not later in life, but kind of like a lot of people coming up right now are like you know, 16, 17. But for me, like I worked so many jobs, had my own businesses, was a hairdresser, and then 25, and then all this stuff happened. So I never even thought of acting or doing anything like that, but I'm like, this is awesome. So I'm just going to do, like, these little projects or big projects now because I love Mm -hmm. YouTube. I love filming that stuff, and the long form is really fun. So... And we'll and yeah. we'll go back to that because I have no, yeah, so yeah. many compliments to pay on that, like going through yeah. your footage and oh. like yours too. It it's awesome to watch, and you guys already pay you enough compliments. I'll still pay them. You're amazing. Yeah. I mean, no. We never tire of hearing. Yeah. Stop. More, more, <laughs> please. <laughs> yeah. Patreon. Go to the Patreon. Go to the other. Ca- go to C Cam. Oh, what? C Camera. That's the Tip Cam. Is there a Foot Cam too? No, yeah. no. That's the weirdest podcast. We have a random Foot Cam. Yeah. Now we're doing that. Where's Holy my shit? That's funny. That's actually really. That's funny. Funny. That is yeah. a fucking I have the genius beat. Ebert. Shaft Cam. So, we have a fifth camera cam. under the table just shows feet, feet every, like, every <laughs> once yeah. in a while every 30 minutes just like just the toes even we're shoes. not doing that <laughs> that'd be so funny. no socks yeah the toes are out <laughs> I got some cheese <laughs> yo them dogs are barking yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> thank god it's not on this one legitimate <laughs> <laughs> what, you don't want to be on Feet Finder? No, my feet aren't cute. Oh, let's talk about that. They're pretty cute. No, By all means, take the floor. I'm just, I'm just They're cute. <laughs> Send no. photos of them for me, guys. No. <laughs> Come on, Army. <laughs> let's They're on the Mobilize. <laughs> yes. They're Weaponize not even behind the table. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stole the words out of my mouth. A force for good. <laughs> <Ding>. <laughs> It's a flag with her foot on it, just marching down the street. She won't let me see him. She wears socks during sex. I need you. <laughs> I'm doing my part. Oh my god! What was your question? <laughs> your friend was so comedy. Great compose here. Uh, so a lot of your stuff is. I find it interesting that you're you're drawn now more to uh, to long form. Because, sure. uh, again, a lot of us are. Yeah, yeah. But a lot of your your craft has been distilling content down to shorter form, to sure. like TikTok and yeah. stuff. So it's like, has it been a challenge to like take that mindset and go more to something that you want to be like, let's say an hour? Yeah. Or? Oh, yeah. At first, like, because I, I started on TikTok 
blew up on there. Didn't really know why, but I, I enjoyed making the short form sketches and I, mm-hmm. like I love comedy and stuff. And then I was like, the monetization is shit. There's yeah. none. There's mm-hmm. Canada has. Mm-hmm. I don't make a dollar off of TikTok unless there's a brand deal. Jesus or something. Christ. Yeah. So oh, I was she, like, yes, that yeah. is actual thing. You have to like go to the state side in order to turn on monetization oh, yeah. for TikTok. I mean, TikTok. I can't unless I was like a citizen here or something. Or maybe you <laughs> could do it through whatever. I, I forgot. But you I went to during YouTube. COVID, right? I did. Roughly? Yeah, okay. 2020 is when I started um, just because I was a hairdresser and didn't know. And also, to Blow do. Up is like a pretty, for people who don't know, like how many followers do you have on TikTok? Five? 50 Ten? million. <laughs> Fucking yeah, exactly. So, shit. so thank you for coming to Range Day because then I could tell vendors we had a hundred million followers yeah. for the people there. Yeah. Yeah. Your, you you your a, number as yeah. half of it. Was, it. it was, yeah. yeah, you were half of it. Yeah. It's like Chris uh, is like, coming, right? Yeah. Blow, blow up is hey, just such a. Love, man. I don't care. It's just such like a up. not good. It's like a. It's not a good enough word. You well, nuked. <laughs> yes. When did your yes. career nuke? Yeah. Just fucking know. wipe out it everything. Was like really, well, it happened fast, but it was like it was like thousand, and then it was like five thousand, there was ten thousand every day, and there was a hundred thousand every day, and I was like, what the That's fuck is insane. going on? Hundred thousand a day. <laughs> I was like, I'm, I, yeah, it was wild for That's a while crazy, there. Dude. I was like, what the? But um, I remember shit. celebrating a hundred thousand in a year. Yeah, dude. Like, but yeah. I mean, given given that's YouTube, but still, that's not oh, a small thing. No, like, but that's and YouTube's like a whole different beast. Yeah, you're only at ten million on that. <laughs> <laughs> you I know. Those. But you're only, like, I feel like a lot of you're people, only kicking this entire section of the table's ass combined. It's all good. <laughs> no, but I feel like uh, YouTube is such it's it's such a better platform. I don't give a shit. TikTok it is way sucks. Superior. Yeah, TikTok fucking sucks. It does. And even the audience, like my audience on YouTube is so, so much more like loyal yeah. and everything. And I think it's, I, I'm so like, I'm way more proud of the 10 million on but, YouTube but, yeah. than I am of the 50 million on A lot TikTok. of people don't get that Really either. blessed for that. Like, it's crazy. Like, I don't understand the that numbers. That number is terrifying. You have, just, you have to admit though, like it, on, for TikTok at least, like a lot of people who are on YouTube are just really good people that found you on TikTok as yeah. well. Yeah. Like yeah. there's a lot of really good people on TikTok too. Yes. Oh no, absolutely. Millions and millions. And, it's uh, like a feed domain kind of yeah, thing. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Like, you find the people on the bigger reach platform and then just feed them into yeah. what you exactly. actually want. Yeah, and that transfer was difficult at first just because, but I feel like a lot of TikTokers didn't really utilize YouTube you, when you they should have. slayed it. Watching you transfer to, we've had people on that do short form yeah. and they're trying to cross into long form where it's tough. you were like, hey, yeah. I have the short form, but then you have the personality to carry the long form and then the editing behind it. And it's like, okay, now I see why this individual caught on extremely fast. He's like going up from short form to long form. Mm-hmm. I do think you convert. It, it is, they have a scrolling through TikTok. We had viral people on. Uh, who was the one guy we didn't even realize it was? He had a viral meme, and we we're like, "Oh, oh Dijon, Dijon, yes, the, the kid, mm-hmm. the, the, uh, you know, <laughs> yes, okay. the mustard." We had the mustard on. Really boring interview. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sat there. Do you remember? The, <laughs> do you remember the short? I get along with you, so. Good. <laughs> do, do you remember the short there with the guy dragging the baby doll through the gravel? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Everybody remembered that, but yeah. nobody knew it was him. Yeah, well, okay. that's the thing, right? Yeah. It's like a, not anybody can have a viral video, but viral videos are great. But then you need to. Mm-hmm. Capitalize, capitalize on it. If you can't that. convert it, it's, it's worth Then it's, yeah. Capitalize, extrapolate. Other big words. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> monetize. <laughs> yeah, monetize. Home uh, uh, <laughs> you, you already got the Scrabble word of the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Scrap. Yep. Yeah. No, but it's crazy. Ooh, that's my favorite oh, word. Damn. Good word. But yeah, watch it, <laughs> watching that conversion for you, because it was, it's like, hey, I got fucking 50 million win- and. The sheer number of that people out there, if you want something terrifying, imagine being on a, st- a stage and then two Australia's populations are <laughs> staring at you, watching you perform. Yeah. No. Absolutely. The, the like, I, oh, <clears throat> fuck. Yeah. The way I look at it is like, think about it in terms of movie theaters. If you fill movie <laughs> theaters, you've got like 52,000 movie theaters full of people watching you. Yeah. At any given point. That blows my fucking mind. Yeah, it gives me anxiety, to yeah. be honest. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's pretty rad. That no, comes with the job. Yeah, no, yeah. I know. <laughs> I know. It's crazy because I was like, really, I didn't post anything on social media before this. Like, it was really just um, like a one post a year kind of on Instagram. So to just be like a spotlight on you constantly and not like necessarily going for that was kind of weird. Raise your hand if you had anxiety before an audience. <laughs> 
Yeah. Oh. 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 Migraine. Well, yeah, the migraine boys. Well, yeah. You went to war, asshole. Yeah. It was a little I got PTSD yeah. before audiences. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. It was enough. dope. Dude. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. It's weird to just be watched all the time. But, and then for, you're at five mil. Um, uh, you're, what, four point? Something like that. Yeah. Four or something. Four point eight, seven. I, I, yeah. no, it's written down. But you're still, you, like, again, one of my favorite content creators to watch long form, mm -hmm. just easily digestible, mm -hmm. and it's fun, and you keep me up with any of the shows I never watched that I never wanted to watch, but now I'm like, I'm interested, because yeah. not in a, is interested. Not in a weird way, but I think I've spent more time with you in, in the shower than some of my significant Interesting. others. <laughs> Interesting. Love I understand that. that. I, get that. <laughs> I never thought, holy shit, yeah. you got the shower thing too? Yeah. 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 I get that. I got, Dave, I, love you. <laughs> I, got a, I got a ledge on the shower. I will listen to like certain like yeah. you, Papa Me, different yeah, podcasts, yeah. whatever. Yeah. 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 Interesting. So when we get like time that we're not doing something else that you can just, yeah. uh, that's how I wake up in the morning. That's my coffee. I'm not a that's how I yeah. relax. When I'm naked, I just want to stare at Oompa. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to me. It, if it makes it less weird, I don't stare. Same. I just yeah. listen. Yeah. Just listen, yeah. That's good. I just yeah. want one update where we have to watch how people view us for a day. Oh, Look, no! Yeah. No! Yeah. <laughs> just the worst experience ever. You're like, oh, it sucks. We have some of our more unhinged viewers. They're just like watering the, uh, the, the girl in the basement down in the well, like... <laughs> Silence of the Lamb styles oh my as God. they're just like listening to unsub podcasts. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it rubs the lotion on his skin. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. It watches the clip. Yeah. <laughs> it watches the clip. <laughs> Isn't that donut guy funny? <laughs> like, no, 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 no. Subscribe. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. I like that. He just opens the basement door. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Hi, <Yeah>. everyone. <laughs> I feel dirty now. Yeah. <laughs> Buffalo Bill here. Oh. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> actually, a really good segment. You're getting the serial killer shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, so this is right up your alley. We love <laughs> yeah. it was, dude, it was uh, on their way out. We started discussing that. And I was like, she knows, like, swore the guy. She knows. What was the pig? The oh, Robert Picton. Fucking the Pinky Canadian's Palace. most. Infamous serial killer, yeah. He's killed over like or forty nine prostitutes and fed them to his pigs. Prolific, like, prolific. Very. He would have parties during this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What? It was wild. That, yeah, this. I'll dude... come out with a deep dive. You guys can watch it. <laughs> I will. Holy no, fuck! Yeah, oh, you haven't done it yet? No, I'm. I'm actually in the middle of writing the the thing for it. We're, so we're still good on. It. We're good on recording that. And that's good. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, cool. yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Go check it out because it Let's is one it story that is. Yeah, it's crazy. Terrifying. It's good. And a lot of people don't know it because it's Canadian. <laughs> This dude just lived out in a fucking farm. He mm -hmm. came from, his parents were farmers. Yeah, uh, from Port Coquitlam, British Columbia, which is like 20 minutes from where I live. So that's why it's interesting. When I was oh, in middle shit. school, they're just like, those guys were killing prostitutes. Let's do this. Like, Whoa. Is, that, is that the guy that would stab them and hunt them in the woods? No, different guy. And okay. that was in Alaska. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, or like hunt the bow hunt them and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that was wild. Wait, hold the fuck on this dude. Can't remember what, he's call what his name was, though. I can't remember. Ted yeah, Nugent. He <laughs> just kidding. He's my treasure. Just, just kidding. I can't speak to that. Don't sue me, Ted Nugent. Yeah. Get a little laser from our attorney. Just yeah. 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 No. Oh. Yeah. That's an interesting okay. case, though. Too. Yeah. The guy Ted Nugent. Yeah. Yeah. That was <laughs> I love that shit. Dude. Yeah. Bo Hunt stories crazy. Shred <laughs> on the guitar. He's fucking. Yeah, I would love to hang out with Ted for a day. Oh, yeah. He's unhinged, and I love him. Oh, dude, I would love to. No, I think <laughs> that's an interview that I would love to do, but it would mm. never do well. Should get channel. him on the podcast. Yeah. yeah, Ted. He's up here in Waco, I think. Yeah, but he oh. lives in Texas. He's up in my neck of the wood. Oh, well, we're bringing you down for that interview too. We're just gonna <laughs> knock it all yeah. out. Of oh my god! <laughs> just ask all the questions <laughs> in a single set. <laughs> get the other Uncle Ted on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> the one who didn't use the mail. <laughs> 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 How did we get him? <laughs> well, he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> I know. That's what I'm, I'm saying. It's like, how would we have got him? We're like, wow, that's amazing. The yes. I, I want to go more into the dude that hunted people because I don't know that fucking story. Yeah. I wish I knew his name. I can't, I remember, can't his name, remember his name. But it was in Alaska and he would just uh, pick up women. Um, a lot of um, indigenous and like native women go, would go missing. Uh, and they still do, which is terrible, and nobody really investigates it. But anyway, he would. It's actually a huge, like, it's a, a huge a, problem in BC, 
and like in Alaska in that area. That's like horrible. in Robert Hansen? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I Was it? Oh, yeah. I think so. <laughs> You're so yeah. smart. You were, <laughs> I know you were just, just like, you know. Robert Hansen. Hansen. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It said us between up. 17 to 37 killed. Yeah. 31 yeah. plus graped. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, between yeah, uh, 1971 and 1983. Everything in Alaska. bad happened in the 80s, 70s, and 80s, man. It's wild. But yeah. But we got Star Wars. True. So, <laughs> true. We did get that. Worth it. Yeah. Fuck them prostitutes. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, <laughs> <laughs> we got to think of the positive. That's yeah. the most yeah. fucked up like, <laughs> meme, the like, trade deal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, dead hookers. Yeah. Like, oh. Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> A New Hope. Oh. <laughs> 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 You're like, ooh, the Phantom Penis. <laughs> <laughs> like, terrible. Yeah, in the 70s and 80s is when you had this wave of serial killers. You had serial yeah. killers in the same state, in the same operating area. That oh, yeah, California? And Cal- cults and stuff, too, at the same time in the 60s and 70s? The Manson Crazy. shit. Manson, Children of God, yeah. Jim yeah. Jones, all in yeah. the same area. Was the smart guy? Um, I mean, they're all kind of smart Six guy. foot eight. The mo- oh, like, uh, Kemper. Kemper. Oh, Ed yeah. Kemper. oh, that's a serial killer, yeah. yeah. Ed Kemper. Yeah, he, he was wild. And he was hunting at the same time as a lot of those guys, and they were mm-hmm. all in the little And he area. was in with the police, and he, like, nobody Brindley. suspected him, but he's just this massive, like, monster who's going around. The guy who turned around. himself in? Yeah, he eventually yeah. turned himself in because he, he just wanted the smart. attention. Yeah. Dude, he and called the, the cops, and they didn't him. believe him. Because yeah. they hung out with him. Uh-huh. He was like, hey, I killed my mom. Oh, yeah. Because he would, like, go and drink with them and shit, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then he yeah. cut his mom's head off, and he... Did have fun with it. use it. I he can't... I'm, I have a problem imagining things. <laughs> <laughs> Explain it. I'll tell you later. <laughs> I'm not John Lennon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Explain it to him now. <laughs> we'll tell you when you're older. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You <laughs> can't know right now. It's That's not funny. good. But he would do yeah. that, and then the mom's friend, and then he ran for like a day, mm-hmm. like one day. He was like, oh. yeah. he was like, oh, fuck, no one's reporting this. Hey, yeah. Ed here, what's up? It's your boy. That's crazy. Yeah, I killed him. Yeah, it's me. And they were like, no. He's like, yeah, it was me. <laughs> so what? Yeah. Stop it, Eddie. 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 Silly what a troll. <laughs> that reminds me of Fight Club, like the yeah. end of Fight Club, almost. Yeah. Where he's like trying to yeah. turn himself in and nobody's fucking, nobody's allowing him. Like, nah, bro, yeah. bro. What about that guy that like, uh, he was like, oh, he killed it. He had like the high pitched voice. Oh. Um. What, he's like the whiny bitch killer or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I know See, I, I think less people would be serial killers if we just gave him names like yeah, that. Oh, he's a whiny, whiny bitch, bitch killer. killer. Right? He's like, the I night stalker. Somebody. Yeah, Zodiac killer. He probably would have come yeah. forth if he did. The small PP cool bandit. We just give him really terrible names. Tiny PP bandit. That's funny. The small PP bandit killed a good. <laughs> just riding out, turning himself in. Yeah. First out of snowman day. Yeah. First out. <laughs> have an average, average size. <laughs> average. Six, inches. Six inches. Six inches. Looking when you up. turn average. yourself in and we can investigate, you become the average PP bandit. <laughs> I'm the huge PP bandit. <laughs> 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 it's like the wet bandits for like a home alone. It's yeah. Like, it's like, stop. We don't want this name at all. <laughs> <laughs> it is good though. They should start doing that. See, we're solving problems again. Uh, what is the new content you're about to get into, Mister Mister Oops? Uh, I don't know about new shit. I just like I just it's easy to do the same stuff. There's just a lot going on, so it's easy to it's better, in my opinion, to continue the things that work and then like try to add on to those things and not make too many drastic changes, uh, or add really anything that's entirely new. Maybe vlogs. I would like to do more mm. vlogs. Vlogs are fun. <clears throat> Do you have a vlog channel? Uh, I have a couple of extra channels. Um, and I have one channel that where I just like watch random shit. Uh, and I would like to turn that into a vlog channel. I think that'd be kind of cool. Because we just got 100 acres. So that'd be cool. To oh, no shit. Oh, oh, congrats, yeah, man. Can. Talk about that if you want at all. Oh, you had the public range coming up. You're <laughs> no, opening no, a no. public range. <laughs> God, no. <laughs> Our name, we, we bought I a bunch of railroad ties. <laughs> Uh, we bought 48 <laughs> railroad ties, and instead of building a real range, we just took the three stacks of 12 railroad ties and put them on top of each other and then put dirt behind it because yeah. this is the easiest way to do it because we wanted to sight our guns. And uh, our neighbors, uh, they're gossiping at church, 
And um, one of them. That was the I, most rural Texas shit I've ever They're heard. gospel, man. <laughs> down, at the, down at the Baptist church. <laughs> and they talked to my mom and, my, and uh, they were like, is your son building a public range? And then just, what <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? No, of course we're not building a public range. No. But that's a good idea. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just no. Kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No. no. But no, I, I, I mean, yeah. No, it's, it's, no, of course not. No. But we do have a range now. I just like it. It was a rumor shoot. that spread outside of your. You were just like, huh. well, yeah. People yeah. were like yeah. mad at us. They <laughs> were like crazy. driving by, like giving Death us the stink stairs. face. Yeah. Because they thought I was building a public range on my land. <laughs> on his own land. <laughs> as you couldn't cut it as an attorney, uh, don't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Deal. That's fair. Bad, bad idea. That's fair. Fair. Liability. Which, Not great. Yeah. It's terrifying because uh, firearms are amazing, awesome, fun mm-hmm. times. But dear God, when you're like, I don't know these people that are operating them. Uh, yeah. Out right next to me, like the range yeah. day we talked about it, where you're like, we walked around that corner because we had a very close group we were like okay these people and then you turn that corner i was like oh there's a lot more people than i know i don't know Which, any of these people like, a ton of those people were like industry professionals mm-hmm. the the tack p guys that jt brought out like people who know their way around firearms and were there for for safety precautions and things or work for companies who've been doing this professionally for a decade or two yeah, yeah. we, that we, was we really had nice. special forces guys as our range safety officers yeah on yeah site. oh no it felt then, super safe yeah we had the cops there we had an ambu there like it was it was as stressful as it was, there was never a moment at that range day where I thought like anyone was unsafe. Which, which was- go like that's a testament by itself because you guys had like, like three to four hundred people easy mm-hmm. at that fucking range day. Yeah, and it was the most safe event because everyone was practicing weapon safety. Fucking crazy concept. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I told my guys to bitch slap somebody if they yeah. needed to. Mm-hmm. I, yeah. I think everyone had that comment. It was like, hey, if anyone's unsafe, the moment they're unsafe, don't, it doesn't matter who the fuck they are. They're kicked off the range. You don't no. joke or play with that shit. That's mm-hmm. something I don't think a lot of people put a precedence in. Yeah. Should, if you're in that community. Personally, I think so. <laughs> I don't care how many followers you have. Your bullets put holes in arteries like everybody else's. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Bullets don't have names on them. No. It's like one of the best sayings in war. It's like it doesn't matter how much training or anything else you have. Bullets don't have a name on it. Accidents happen. Just fucking be safe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Props to you guys for like fucking setting that off. And the next one, can you discuss when that's coming about? Yeah. We don't give like a, a, a exact date. date well, yeah. there's a big one. Yeah, got a spring up. one spring. coming up. It's going to be the biggest one. the The one we just did was the biggest range day ever, in terms of followers. And then this one's going to be twice that size. Yeah, you took yeah. up like two thirds of the followers. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> we just use your numbers as metrics. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even shoot a gun at the last yeah. one. I don't think I was just saying hey to everybody. It was yeah, so same. it was fun without even like. I mean, next one. We were like, holy yeah. shit. I better shoot something. Who's Undertaker? I don't know, Goldberg. Call me Chris. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, I have Circle to go. Right there. <laughs> yeah. It's funny because we put it on and like I shot That's funny. two guns and a rocket launcher. <laughs> I didn't shoot day. anything. No, yeah, you I didn't. didn't shoot once okay, that day. I feel less I bad. Shoot when we were trying. No, yeah, you didn't either. When we lined up to shoot the Humvee. Yeah. I was like, can someone give me a gun? Can yeah. so, no one give me a gun? <laughs> I, like, I gun set it up. They said, don't use pistols. And what? I was like, all right, I don't oh. Who said that? One of the range safety officers told me. Oh. Huh. You are the range are- owner. <laughs> <laughs> you tell them what is okay. I was like, there's ARs. I was like, can I use that? Can I use that? Can I use that? And everyone Homie, was busy trying to load I was handing out it. AKs to people. No one handed me shit, dude. I oh, even walked wow. by and was like, have you seen a gun anywhere? I want to shoot it, too. Aw. <laughs> Cody shot tears. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's like, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> It's all right. We, we tried to shoot the M2 at it. I fired two rounds because the M2 was jamming. With Headspace and timing. No, no, we literally had space and timed it right before. It was just uh, like we we didn't know the ammo. Mm-hmm. Like somebody handed us a box of like a pit, which was fucking rad, like fucking a pit. But we'd never shot it through this M two before, so yeah, that- M twos are finicky. It has like it needs ball ammo, <laughs> and that's it. And then you have to so guns. If you don't know what the fifty cal Brandon explained, he's got an M two, right? Oh, he knows yeah. everything. Yeah. Oh, know. you know how to hit space and time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is yours full auto? No. Not yet. <laughs> Everything <laughs> help. <laughs> well, uh, That's well, the only reason he came well, down. I was like, a little off the camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, this <laughs> talks me. <laughs> <gun. laughs> yeah, everything gets worse as a machine gun. I can mm. imagine. Yeah. Well, it, like it's everything's better as a machine gun when it starts that way. But when you take a semi-auto and make it a, machi- a machine gun, 
they fucked up so much shit to make it a semi-auto that it's just it's a pain in the ass. Because now it's imagine. a closed bolt platform, right? Or it-, uh, it was always uh, the M2 was always closed bolt. Because it's a short recoil operated. Holy shit, you're right. Because yeah. yeah, you pull back and it slams forward, and then you go yep. the chunk, chunk, chunk. Yeah, because the barrel reciprocating <laughs> is what actuates. Yes. The, yeah. Okay, now I remember. Brain activate. <laughs> 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 I haven't fired an M2 in. That's all right. I've got the tism. <laughs> this is the only thing holy, I do. <laughs> holy shit! It has been fucking 16 years since I fired an M2. Oh, you do it tomorrow if you want. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Burn that out. <laughs> I just remember I'm like screw and barrel, unscrew two times, look in window, good to go. Click, Test click, headspace, click, click. yeah, cha cha, ba 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 ba, boom. <laughs> you remember that, Cody? No, I didn't. Did they have, did, did I, was they I was in the fucking navy. I didn't do anything, dude. I wasn't sure. Did M twos? You know? What's up? They've got M twos. Yeah, I did. I never shot any. Uh, that was mostly on big boats. Mm. Even M twos, like infantry, it is. Like uh, Mark 19s or that R2 where it's a lot of people probably aren't going to know to do headspace and timing unless you're setting up a weapon system That's or fair. doing a machine gun position. And uh, the 240 is what we run on almost everything for that shit. So 240 is pretty bad. It's a fucking dope ass gun. You just got to learn to dial like, thingy. I forget what that's called. The M60, but it's a shoebox. Yeah, I, d- I don't remember because you have to do like courses on it. It's like quick and you feel the fire and what is the targets and blah, 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 blah for EIB. I- so incorporating this side of the table again, what was your idea? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, if you guys ever want dumb military stories, yeah. him, me, Brandon, his mm. service. Thank you. Shut again. up. <laughs> <laughs> Medal was- of Honor recipient, <laughs> which also thank you all for thanking him for his service. <laughs> Yeah, Brandon has always now- been a civilian side <laughs> retard. <It's- laughs> I like the internet is now making you a soldier and everything. Oh, no. That's funny as hell. Oh, yeah, no, because like the, we did the uh, the Veterans Day episode. And uh, what was it? Uh, or was it Memorial Day? That was a Veterans Day. Veterans Day? Okay. Was it Memorial or Veterans Day? Veterans Day, yes. So, yeah, the... Uh, Eli attacked me by trying to pin his purple heart to me. And I'm like, no, 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 get that away from me. Like, I have avoided all stolen valor accusations my oh. entire career. Never was in the military. My joke is that I did a 25-year tour in Fayetteville. But that was about it. Third Cobblestone Corps. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just, just I had, to, I had to be around Fort Bragg my whole life, but that was that's about it. You got up and, like, ran, and we had Jack and Crispy on that episode. Yep. Crispy has two purple hearts, also burnt. Uh, hence his name, yeah. and then Jack is... Jack narrowly avoided a Purple Heart. Because he got shot by friendly fire in basic training. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shot. damn. You've got a Purple Heart. So I was the only person there that hadn't been shot oh. in the military, essentially. So I was being a friend and giving him my Purple Heart. Oh, fucking oh, asshole. Of valor on the internet. <laughs> fuck, <laughs> fuck you so hard. <laughs> and then the internet's like, yes, yes, let's take Brandon's photo and Photoshop it across everything and start putting it up on the internet. A couple That's of awesome. them made me laugh. Dude, there were like- There were some good ones. Some gold, like actual, uh, shout out to the Reddit community for making that like gold. Some of you can meme, some of you cannot though. And it hurts, it hurts my head. <laughs> like, mm. Do you have a Reddit? Like a subreddit? Probably. Oh God. <laughs> I do, I do. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm I'm pretty uh I'm pretty anti I pretty anti Reddit. Same. I don't like Reddit. Same. Yeah. yeah. It's a very away. negative place. Mm-hmm. That's what that like mine is I'm every time I go on there I'm like okay this is not bad. Yeah. And then I'll see someone post some shit that gets flagged and I'm like I'm not associated with this. Yeah. At all. That's why I love not having my own subreddit. Yeah. I let somebody else handle that and I just kind of like for work. sure. Yeah. How was it like what's the most negative experience? Our Reddit, I and shout out to What's the, the hardest you've ever been bullied on the internet? <laughs> yeah, because yeah, right? Reddit is yeah. Right. Yeah, it goes hard. Like we are very blessed with the unsub Reddit. It, they started on their own and they do a fantastic job. And it is so much positivity oh, yeah. in such a weird way. Like a very weird way. You're like, God, these guys are good humans. Like <laughs> type in their little stories. I'm like, hey, still mm-hmm. fucked up at times. Mm-hmm. What are your guys' like? I have a lot of uh, I have a lot of anti Semites in my community. Oh, it seems like why and racists? Um, and, but like it's probably the mullet. He's I, not. By the way, I'm not an anti Semite or racist person. He's not. Just to be clear, uh, your PR is doing Thank an you. amazing job. Thank I've you. been to the Shenandoah Valley. I am surrounded <laughs> by racists and anti Semites, yeah. and I don't know why. Uh, no, it, uh, it's like 
It's just, it's just. And Chris is like, he loves Jews. <laughs> it's, it's just like <laughs> memes and things that uh, are posted. I think it's by like maybe children. Yeah. yeah. Who are like just yeah. learning There's about edgy stuff. Cause it's not even like funny, really. Yeah. Uh, it's just really <laughs> offensive. They haven't Extremely learned to offensive. make it funny yet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly, yeah. It's like not even, it still, you know, needs to be deleted, obviously, uh, because of Reddit, it's against the rules. Um, but like, I don't know. They, they're very nice to me. They like me a lot um, yeah. for some reason. But the main thing would just be uh, like people taking things that I've said and then blowing it out of proportion or like mm-hmm. putting a spin on it that was not intended to make me look. Like, there's like a whole subset of people who just think that I'm things that I'm not. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which is unfortunate. Which I'm sure that affects all of you guys. Yeah. As creators. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I see a lot <laughs> of like, I see a lot of people. Uh, I mean, for both of you guys, I've I've got I have like I have Shit. friends. I'm too small. <laughs> I've I have friends that uh that like didn't know that I was friends with you guys. And then when they found out, they just haven't talked to me since. We've and I'm discussed like, this whole yeah, show. We've, we've discussed what? this. We've yeah. talked Dude, about this on the podcast. Cody? Yeah. Friends, by the way. God. Yeah, I don't know what I what I do wrong. It's no. you, mainly. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I know. I oh, I know. Trust yeah. me. Everyone, Everyone knows. Yeah. knows. Yeah. Wait, you don't think all cops are bastards? Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. No, yeah. we've, had, we've talked to several people who are like, you. yeah, they don't want to talk to you anymore. <laughs> or they don't want to be your it's friend. Like, what? Like, I just don't, I don't understand huh. it. Like, I just don't get it. It's, it's a lot of it's like Twitter the LA person. crowd and stuff like that. Cause there's friends of ours that, that we have that are kind of in with those communities. And they just, they tell us flat out. They're like, yeah, these people, like they don't want us to associate with you mm-hmm. because basically mm-hmm. you don't buy into all the Hollywood, whatever, mm-hmm. like whatever those guys are. Yeah. Uh, whatever Kool-Aid they're drinking that week. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of people. I mean, I just don't associate with them at all anyways. So yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. here yeah. in Texas. It's crazy when you have like individuals that you hear, it's like, oh, you hang out with that person without knowing that person's background or how they are as a human yeah. and then completely disassociating. Cause I will say hands down, like just met you. Mm-hmm. We've talked, but like personally, this mm-hmm. is like the longest we've yeah. actually met face to face, but these guys, these are some of the best humans I have ever met period hands down. It's like, we all have our flaws. But at the end of the day, the most positive humans possible across the board. I'm like, hey, these are the friends I want. Everyone lifts themselves up. There is no judgment in this mm-hmm. circle, which is the most dope thing I've ever experienced. Everyone's like, oh, fuck yeah, Cody, just positivity. Fucking, he's he just wants to usually go out and drink man moses. Not now. Now you're you're now you're fucking just drinking right. caffeine, yep. raw dog in life and being bored. It means a lot of videos are coming up this month. Eli's just straight up calling me an alcoholic in front of everyone. It's fine. <laughs> Not at all. You've done really good. I, I fucking, the last two months, you've been just focusing on working out. Everyone in the comment section is like, Cody's getting jacked, like fucking super jacked. But you're like focused on work, your kid, fantastic father, you're an awesome friend. Like, it's just truly awesome to be around individuals like you. Brand, fucking. Your dumbass signed up for a pro fight five weeks before and texted me. You're like, I got a profile. I was like, dope. Like, was it 13, fucking 15 weeks out? And you're like, five weeks. I was like, if I lose this election, we're, we're doing another one. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. Or do one with it. Uh, but the I'll dedicate- have my time occupied with some things if I win. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, yeah, we'll see. But still, it's, it's that. You still were like, I did this. I'm, and then I was like, hey, buddy, you got to come over and train. And then you just signed up immediately. You're like, okay, hey, yeah. his worth ethic took over, and he just fucking trained every it's like, tell single me, goddamn. Tell day. me how many how many days a week we need to do this? Like two, three. You're like six, seven. We're like, all right, down. He he, he, he signed up for a pro fight, never fighting a day in your life, pretty much, other than like yeah. street fights, random scraps. And then my my fighter got replaced. My opponent got replaced by a guy who was taller than me, fucking heavier than me, had seven inches more reach, everything oh like that. God. And I still ended up winning, which like, shout out to James. He's fucking awesome. He's yeah, always James, been awesome. awesome. Champion for digging the fight on like a yeah. couple weeks notice and it's then fucking showing rad. up. You signed up and did the entire thing, which is awesome. and shows your dedication to whatever craft it is. You two, which like you coming from 2020 blowing up and then not becoming a piece of shit, which happens. Mm-hmm. It you. does. <laughs> Fucking no, so quick. Not a piece of shit. Not yet. Not like, that's we'll wait. Yeah. I'm just waiting Take for you to go to punch bank. people and have a body. Right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know. The Christmas no. start from uh, no. the Unsub podcast. Yeah. Thanks for not being a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> the 
put that on the thumbnail. No, it's um, yeah, I have a really small circle because of that. I think because I feel like a lot of people, there's a lot of egos in this business. And those, oh yeah, dude, I would rather, dude, gravitating towards individuals like you, where it is just down to earth people that came from struggling Mm -hmm. through your past and now you are where you are and it's not going to your head you're like cool i want to help people now absolutely you push your i mean you push everything which is fucking dope yeah and you're like hey again cody just being the light of my life right now (laughs) wait he's he's blushing he likes to communicate cody's like he he loves to brand is just like a hard-working business mindset fucking love it yeah He's all that. I, I, dude, I, I'll like, never get tired of my talks with my boy Oompa on yeah. text. We're, it's just the easiest combos, and it yeah. is the hard work you put into it. You're like, hey, even with your trials and tribulations of getting Sour Boys started, mm-hmm. you didn't give a fuck. You're like, no, nah, this has to happen no matter what. I'm yeah. going to make a doc on the it's, side, but I'm going to make sure it's this crazy. fucking works, and you yeah. made it yeah, successful as shit. It, yeah. It's been really, really No, crazy. watching him go Excellent. through that, like, that's, this is, I like, fell in love with him through that whole period of time. Is that, is it, and that's, that's like a no, side truly, quest because, that is bigger than most people's main quest. Yeah, it was like, we've known each other now for just over a year. And it was like, I watched it. was like, I knew him for a couple months and then all the scam shit happened. And then I didn't see him for a couple months because he was just like dealing with all that. But it was like watching him like, just stay so level headed and just like grind. I'm gonna yeah you know, he's grinding. a true grinder like I'm most Sigma. most people <laughs> no but truly like most people would shut down and quit and like because I can't even imagine like losing you know million dollars and all that and he's just like no I'll work it out like I'll I'll make and I was like what the fuck and that's when you were like I'm I was so awesome. yeah. so I was already we were talking like Here's every day <laughs> yeah. and that's when my, we discussed and you're like I don't numbies. know what to do yeah, yeah I got numbers. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I was already talking to him through this, so I was like watching him go through all of this, and then yeah, it was crazy. I was just, it's just very ad- admirable, and that's it's, it's crazy. And then that's watching him succeed is really cool. To watch that too. I think that's why like a lot of people in this group and people that we're like affiliated with is just like a it's it's a testament to the fact that people who are genuinely good people who have a work ethic will find mm-hmm. each other no matter what. Yeah, like no matter where you are in the political aisle, whatever. It's like these kind of people are just kind of attracted to each mm-hmm. other. Um, okay. I'm gonna steal some of the candy you've spilled, yes. on, spilled on the table. It's so fucking good. Mm-hmm. Last question going into this. Mm. What is your guys' favorite style of movies to watch? Horror. Mm. Horror. Never saw that coming. Yeah. <laughs> what? Wait, Cody, what's yours? I'm, I'm asking everyone. Yeah, dramas, mostly. Dramas? Oh. Yeah. yeah. I, like, I like comedy, drama, or mm. action. What I, I like a lot of movies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm a movie guy. Action comedy and sci-fi. And those are like my two cool. uh, yeah. bread and butter. What type of, what's like a definition of drama? Yeah. Like all quiet on the Western. Like, I guess more oh, action drama. Too. Like, yeah, like time to kill, you know, stuff cool. like that. Some more action dramas. Type yeah, stuff. yeah, cool. Yeah. That's cool. That's your, is that your peak? Yeah, I think so. Or just like Quentin Tarantino. I do, yeah. Oh, yeah. <sighs> yeah. Yo, Cody, uh, what is your favorite? I need, I want, I'm what's your favorite movie? on Cody, I just said, bro. I just said, uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. Cody the fucking. <laughs> Cody, if you had to drop like two in your top ten. <laughs> Mm, uh, mm-hmm. Fight Club, mm. not for the gratuitous violence, but because it's an actual yeah. cool fucking no, story. Cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's one ending. of the best book writers. Um, Chuck, oh, he has a weird, Chuck. Chuck. Yeah, yeah, the weirdest know, last name. Say his fucking name. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Phalanacus. Yeah, something like that. It's not that. <laughs> huh? Oh no, it's close. It's like Polish Chuck. almost. It's yeah. weird. Yeah, mm. probably Django. <laughs> which you just said Tarantino. So Django, definitely because they fight racism. In the Jenga. Yes. Yeah. I yeah. Agree, but no, it's just buddy. one of the best dramas. Ever. It, yeah. it is good. It's, Action dramas. Oh, just every, the music, the cinematography, oh, yeah. the, the cast, so good. The, everything. Mm-hmm. Dude, Tarantino so is god tier when yeah. it comes oh, to yeah. writing scripts and also one of my favorite directors because the actors are not allowed to deviate from the script. Oh, yeah. yeah. Period. Yeah. So you have different um, directors. They're like, here's the lines. You can modify it slightly mm-hmm. versus uh, Jonah Hill when he went on um, Tarantino's set. Uh, Jonah Hill's what not very- What Tarantino movie? Oh, what, what was it? Uh, Django? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, no shit. Django? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Was, oh, The Mask. The Mask. Yeah. The Mask. Yeah. Well, The Mask, we can all agree. We can all agree. agree. Yeah, right yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> His wife worked really hard <laughs> on it. <laughs> <laughs> so good. That's like one of the My best wife spent hours yeah. on yeah. these. I can't see fuck thing. 
got this. <laughs> Best scene. It's so good. So <laughs> when he did that scene, because he, he worked with Scorsese and then Tarantino, and Jonah Hill will talk about Scorsese. He's like a love worker with Scorsese because yeah, he can just, modify my lines. Yep. Tarantino, he's like, what the fuck did I write? Uh, I got to say it like that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Yeah. Tarantino has high level autism and he loves black people and feet. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's Tarantino in a nutshell. <laughs> He's a foot fetish. If you don't know why, one of his famous shots are always feet in a film. Yes. Every, Every single yes. film. Yep. I'm a, I'm a filmy. Yes. You know, oh, it's good. Oh, I Film-oid. love listening to him talk about films. I love that. Film Film black. So I love it when he's on a podcast or an yeah. interview setting with just like four other black people and he tries to be black. It's oh, one it of my favorite over. things. <laughs> it takes over. Oh, it's hilarious. If you haven't watched him with an all black cast and how he talks completely shifts because he grew up. Um, if you haven't read or listened to his audiobook, listen to it. It's fucking phenomenal. He does the first chapter or two chapters. Someone else takes over. But it is about his childhood and listen is um his mom um uh, would date different people in Los Angeles. And uh one of the first dudes she dated was a black dude, and he started taking him to black split exploitation films. Yeah. Black sport. The black exploitation. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's where he fell in love with that film style. And that's how it grew to mm-hmm. where it is. And he's like, Man, I fucking love this style of filmmaking how the audience roar and laugh together. He's like, that is what got me into filmmaking and then working for blockbuster. That and the desire to, you know, take shots off of women's feet and say the N-word. Yes, and that that also. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, this is my people. I fucking need to make films wrapped around this. <laughs> yeah. You did, yeah. Cody, have you read, like, listened or watched any no, of this? I didn't know that was his origin story. That's oh, dude. That is pretty cool. It's fucking dope. He, he didn't come from any background. It was... Mm-hmm. He worked at a um, rental. Yeah, he worked at yeah. a movie store. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's, came from that. It's watching, really cool. Dude, watching so many movies, you are that yeah. level. He's so fixated of, on it. Isn't he on his last he film? Reservoir. Yeah, he is. This is his last one. Is, uh, have they said what it is yet? No, I don't think so. SpongeBob no. Escape from Bikini Bottom. <laughs> 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 Finally. It's going to be so good. Well, the fuck me. I guess remake. they'll get my $10. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, I'll watch it. Yeah, he's what so will crazy. happen this time? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Favorite ones, films and oh my directors, God. dude. I don't know. Uh, favorite films, probably uh, Wolf of Wall Street. Martin Sor- Scorsese is mm-hmm. a, a big. I'm a big fan of him. Yeah. Wolf of Wall Street is probably one of my favorite movies. I got a lot of favorite movies, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm I know, a really. I can't, I can't. I'm a film buff. Yeah. You're a lover. Yeah. Yeah. That's how we all got into this game a little bit. We we yeah. all grew up watching movies. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Do you got to be a special kind of retarded to want to get in front of a camera in the first place? Yeah, that's true too. Mine was pure comedy. That's all I wanted to do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I used to just like do, I, I watched the, uh, the un, Jim Carrey's Unnatural yeah, Act that's, that's when I was favorite. a child. And he does this like the, oh, he's like, oh, yeah. Um, he did the, like the Jack Nicholson, like the Joker, fa- yeah. the, the Grinch face thing with the, eye, the eyebrows and all that shit. The thing you just did. Yeah. 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 I did, I did that to my dad. We, I, we were watching it when I was a child <laughs> yeah. and on the VHS and I like looked at my dad and he was like, <laughs> How are you doing that? And I immediately knew then that I was like, okay, I need to start. Yeah. Continue to make my dad laugh. Because mm-hmm. he's fucking funny as shit. He's really funny. He's funny, by far funnier than I am. Um, And like his just comedic sort of uh, inspiration is just like through every like, you know, cell of my entire being. That's why I wanted to do YouTube stuff. Yeah. That's awesome. Have so. you done stand-up before? Do you, do you have any interest in it? Uh, I feel like... The means to an end would probably maybe one day, yeah. but currently I'm more focused on just like uh, creating um, stability, yeah. I guess, like through business and things I like that. I guess refining that question, would you be interested, not as a career path or anything, but like, would you be interested in trying it? Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you'd be good at it. You'd Dude, our, our friend uh, Jared Taylor, one of the Black Rifle founders. Mm-hmm. He does a comedy show a couple times a month, and he gets all the people from the comedy mothership to come down from oh, Austin. That's oh, that's cool. So, like, if you ever wanted to do a ten minute set, he they just lets amateurs and anyone go up there and just have fun. We all want to cool. try it. We all want to do one bit where, like, we just go up to Jared's and do like, or or, or a, like a bigger show, like even comedy mothership or something. Yeah. And do like, okay, a real comic, one of us, mm-hmm. new comic, oh, yeah. one of us, That'd be and just funny. see how we fucking do yeah. in front of a live audience. That's terror to me. Yeah. yeah. No, same. Yeah. Same. I'm gonna shut down. Yeah. yeah, I would definitely, I think it's, I would shut down as well. Yeah. I'd be like, 
It's, <laughs> yeah. It ain't great. Yeah. No, I can't imagine no. it. I feel like it'd be terrible. That's why I just like mm-hmm. the whole YouTube thing is like a cool sort of middling ground where it's just I can be mm-hmm. funny. It's more and, controlled. Yeah, enjoy myself. Mm-hmm. I don't have to write. Yeah. Writing That's why I, I joke around. I'm like, I'm a comedian with an editor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, for sure. And there's a, there's a real thing to that. Yeah, of course. Yeah, camera punch ins, but it's yeah. learning the comedic yeah. beats yep. and then the editing beats with it. Because comedy, if you don't realize this, <laughs> horror genre is I, the easiest to do film wise. Yeah. The no hardest to do is comedy. Yep. Learning beats, yep. learning how to do that. Because you're editing yourself yep. in real time. Yeah, that's to why know it's the so best hard, to, timing. hard it's, to find an editor because they actually need to be funny. Mm-hmm. Yep. Go and you, you cannot teach that. No, you can't. You gotta be rhythmic no, you can't. as well. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And then learning how to do that on the fly and then being like, I'm gonna tell this joke. Best way to do this, because a lot of people think it's the easiest thing. It's like, I got a good, you should do this. It's yeah, like, I got an okay. idea. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, <laughs> film, it. Check this out. yeah. film it and send it to your family. See if it just is left on red. Yeah. I mean, it's fucking yeah. terrible. Follow yeah. me around for a day, yeah. <laughs> little guy. I've got, I get that a lot. Yeah. It is a whole yeah, lot. I'm I got a good video idea for you. Yeah. <laughs> you want to see some cowboy yeah, shit? <laughs> Not really, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Holy shit. The, <laughs> the, the vegan teacher. Fuck, dude. My Have aunt. you guys watched her vegan teacher video? Dude, I she's on both. Did yeah. you interview? Oh, Holy shit. Did you bring up the Crayola crayons? Mm-mm. No, I did. Did you I interview? exposed her. Did, I know you. That's why I was like, <laughs> did it register? Because no. she's pointing that shit out. And you're like, wait, Crayola. Wait, crayons. Yeah. That video was like 25 <laughs> million views. This bitch it's is ridiculous. fucking pointing out. She's using non-vegan products. <laughs> She I mean, she's ballistic. a provocateur, purely. Yeah, absolutely. Like, she has no but logical his, ground to stand on You need to watch whatsoever. his interview, interviews with her. They're so funny. And she didn't know that we were talking to each other at that point we were like dating it and it was pretty funny she's yeah. just talking she, she hates me yeah i was i was like holy i was texting you while it was happening she was he, he was he was the, like sending me photos because i think i saw your video on that yeah at least the first half yeah. or something like that yeah that she's interesting yeah. shit and she'd she's love Canadian. to come down for a range day oh, yeah. cody this is a person that was yeah. let's bring her as long as you guys are like not at the same berm yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she invited or something. Oh, she's watching Chris's video, mm-hmm. and you were just eating. I was taste testing uh, snacks from around the world that might Scot- Scottish versus yeah, American something or something like that. Like that. Something like that. So, Nothing to do with veganism. So it's just Zero. very normal just a whatever content. video. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So she's like, "Let's hear those vegan recipes or ingredients." Every snack. Yeah. She's like, "Talk about the ingredients, Chris." Chris. Fail, Chris. Yeah, yeah fail. you fail. I failed you. You <laughs> failed this all. Like. Yeah, and Chris is like, I, "This isn't a vegan episode." Yeah, she's <laughs> like, just, like he what? said, she's a provocateur. Like she's, she's just, a provocateur. She's just uh, using her image. I, yeah, I think I think she I think she has a true disconnect between the real world and yeah. the online world, and she just be- sees the internet as a vehicle to provoke the thing that she believes in, which is veganism. Passion. I think she is probably a good person in real life. Genuinely, I do believe. Yeah, that. I mean, you, oh. you met her. Yeah. Like, I don't have an issue with that. Like, hey, wait, hold the fuck on. Well, yeah, I he, interviewed her in person. He interviewed her. He That's completely flew her different. down to, te- <laughs> to Texas. I love you so much. Dude, I was like, are you crazy? We also shot guns together. You did, yeah. which is crazy. We had RSOs. <laughs> hands on the weapons, ready to yeah. go. <laughs> that is your whole thing. Their hands is like, okay, yes, yeah. Yeah. Dude, nine millimeter works. Crazy. It was, a, it was a little, it was a little <laughs> freaky. We just had our yeah. Titanic moment there. <laughs> yeah. No, she's crazy. But I don't care. Like, you can be vegan. I don't care. Mm. Okay. That's what my whole thing is. She's just like, you could, like, you're a terrible person. She just made me person. like vegans I just, less. I just care. I know. In general. I don't care if you're a vegan. I just oh. care if you're an asshole. Unfortunately, yes. that Venn diagram is a circle. It, yeah. <laughs> it, uh, yeah. I like uh, CrossFit vegan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I talk yeah. about it's in the middle. I think the problem, <laughs> I think the problem is that the people who are, who become vegan, like a lot, some of them, they, like, it's just virtue points, right? Like that's yeah. the, anything where you can just yeah. gain enlightenment by just making a decision that anyone can make. Yeah. Uh, I, th- I feel like it's just fucking nonsense. Yeah. So. Yeah. It requires not a lot of discipline. It's zero it, discipline. Uh, no. Whatsoever. You can get fucking vegan chicken, bro. Yeah. That's zero discipline. Like, That's zero discipline. Don't shut you don't have to change anything. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> you just have to get slightly used to food tasting worse. 
<laughs> yeah, pretty much. Like, I, I have a lot of respect for, like, those super whole foods vegan people. Yeah. I have a lot of respect for that. Um, yeah. Just because that is, like, requires a lot of discipline. Yeah. Like, um, don't bully people yeah. to do it. It's and just, honestly, the healthiest diet in the world is probably whole foods vegan with fucking eight ounces of ribeye every single day. Yeah. Yeah. But the catch-22 is the that, ribeye. That ribeye. Yeah. But you, you got an eight-pack of that. Yeah. That, that yeah. fucking jack. That was trending. Some yeah, of my yeah, best yeah. fucking news I ever got is I do a lot of blood testing and stuff like that. And so, like, my, my doctor got my results back. And he was just like, yeah, do you eat enough red meat? Mm-hmm. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> it's all I eat. I'm not. Yeah, it is. Oh, I'll change it. This is the best day of my <laughs> life. Yeah. You're low on iron. Fucking dope. Yeah. <laughs> do you have any, uh, do you have any uh, bad readings? How old are you? Uh, 28. 28? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, the lead, just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, the lead. Uh, no, leg- legitimately. Like, so I, I saw my... Uh, That's awesome. My lead levels, because, uh, you know, obviously what we do and whatnot. I'm like, yeah. okay, so, all right. I, I got my lead tested, actually, when I did the fight stuff, because, you know, I got my blood drawn and whatnot. Because mm. curi- I was curious, because a couple of my friends have had issues with it. And uh, it was something like, you know, nine point something. I'm like, all right, that's a pretty low number, but it was still red. It was highlighted red. So I'm like, okay, I Googled it. That's like three times toxic. Whoa. It's like, oh, fuck. But we, I mean, we don't shoot that much, but I mean, it's not just from like us going to range days and stuff. It's because this asshole shot, what, 10,000 rounds in one day? Well, that was one of the days. I shoot like 100,000, 200,000 rounds a year. Yeah. So like, that's not a little. fuck. That's crazy. It sounds like fun. I'm gonna start coming down more. Yeah. Yeah. Come on down, dude. Yeah. Just make sure you use my new lead wipes that I bought. Yeah. Yeah. I'm now yeah. Yeah. Like prescribing new lead wipes. <laughs> yeah, literally. Like you can just buy like lead wipes. Like I, I, I now like when I'm done with range yeah. days, when I'll think wipe of down that. stuff like that because like you know heavy metals are not good for you. No, oh, they're for sure bad. not. Yeah. yeah, very, very. They don't That's make it. Terrible. They don't put it in paint anymore. It's toxic. For <laughs> yeah. Or makeup when they used to do yeah, lead yeah. makeup. Yeah. Yeah. It's just going all in your pores. We put it in sour boys. Yep. Number one ingredient. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> Lead berry. <Yeah. laughs> you can't say berry. It's just lead. Shit. It's, just it's lead. lead berry. You've never had lead berry? I used to, uh, the weights. The bag is bulging up the bottom because it's just yeah. fucking weights, dude. <laughs> You know those like little fishing weights that you can clamp down on a, on a oh, fishing yeah. line? I used to like chew on those when I was a kid. Oh, yeah. I'm, I gotta awesome. have. Where did the lead poison come from? Yes, sir. <laughs> I got um, I got uh, my blood test done, and I had all my heavy metal stuff. I was I was solid. Really so, nice. Yeah, I'm very glad about that. My, okay. Yeah, I was surprised. My everything but my A1C uh, was a little bit high, but that was because I was drinking a Dr Pepper when they took my blood. Yeah. So they were like, they were like, Do you, have you eaten? I was like, yeah, I don't fucking care about the A1C shit. I'm healthy. I think I'm good. Yeah. I have good. my appointment in two weeks for the VA because I have. To, they were. I got the you phone still call. Still go through the VA. Yeah, for some stuff. Because they were like, oh, Mr. Cuevas, uh, this is last month. They were like, have you been exposed to uh, burn pits? I was like, <laughs> 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 yeah. They're like, do you have proof of the burn pits? So the article the New York Times put out, that's my unit. That's actually my buddy in the second platoon that is on the front of that <laughs> image in front of the burn pit doing this. And I was like, so you can't deny me that I was not near burn pits. So like, we'll get you scheduled this month. So in two weeks, I have to go in for all my burn pit tests. Fun stuff. Yeah, it's fucking fantastic times. <laughs> Yay, military. At least the VA is not service related. So oh, right. I know. That, that's what they were trying to get out of. Mm. Like Those are recreational burn pits. You were just having that shit on your fun <laughs> side. Yeah, that's it. Your, your own leave <laughs> on deployment. Just creating burn pits. <laughs> yeah, you were doing that on your fun yeah, time. You, we know you were doing that. <laughs> like, fuck. We're going to close this out with one just positive story from everyone of like, hey, like all everyone at this table, thankfully, came from poor. I love that you all came from <laughs> mediocrity and poor because <laughs> it did. It, anyway, it, y'all motherfuckers are broke. Yeah. So, uh, We're all going to now build up. It is. It's still, I think yeah, a lot of people relate to that and it gives them hope because it is or not hope. Whatever you want to say it is. It is coming from that low income or anything like that. And then being able to be like, hey, there is something possible in the future as long as it can come spontaneously. Mm-hmm. It can come through hard work and, and just like time mm-hmm. can come through comedy and then trials and tribulations. It is something that can can, can happen. But for like Umba starting at you, when would you're like, hey, yeah, this sucks. I went through even through your um, like 
this mm -hmm. trials and tribulations where you're like, no, I just got to dig deep and then push on. What are your, like, what is one story you're like, yeah, it's fucking, it sucked. I, I had to suck it up and then push through that at the end of the day. And then now, hey, it's fucking working. Like, what is one of your hero stories? I feel like the main one, obviously, is just the candy shit because it's just, I don't know. When that was all happening, I didn't ever, I never thought about it from the perspective of a story. Uh, and when it happened, like, when we released the video, that the video came out, like, seven months after it happened, after we found out. So we were just like sitting on it for a long time. And then people were, I talked to CoffeeZilla. He gave, he was like, dude, that's incredible. You should figure out a way to make that into a story. Um, so that's probably the biggest one. Uh, but just in general, I mean, making videos and like having the opportunity to do that and just seeing like people enjoy something that you're making is just like the first video you make that does well. It's just, it's crazy. It's like mind boggling that people are interested Especially in what, like, my first videos were were fucking ass, right? Like, my first video I posted in 2010 when I was, like, a 12-year-old boy. Yeah. Or 13, 2013. I was Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah, baby. 2010. They were yeah. so cute. They're really bad. They were, like, tutorials. Yeah. Oh, they're, oh, they're still guys? up on your main channel. Yeah. I made oh, it no public. Shit. I made it public. I had it privated out of just embarrassment What's the title? for a long time. Uh, how to mod Borderlands on Xbox 360. <laughs> <laughs> Shit you not. It's yeah. so cute. It's like, hey I guys, need to this look is up. how you Jimmy know pulled this up now for this. Yeah. Yeah. All right, you guys. Yeah. I was a little child yeah. when I started all this stuff. Keep so a hard worker. Yeah, I mean, and, and like my parents both have really tough jobs, especially when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. My dad's a farrier, um, and I was as well. I was an apprentice under him for a long time. A what? Farrier, put shoes on horses. Did not know. I thought he rode boats across the Yeah. <laughs> I thought he buried boats. <laughs> no. Barrier. I'm so stupid. <laughs> I was like, like, oh, his dad. And Virginia was. <laughs> yeah. Fair. Like yeah. race horses and stuff. Larry like Bravo. Yeah. Back to you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> and that was, that was interesting seeing them just like work and stuff. That we talked about last night. I got, I got, uh, I got razzed a little bit because I don't fly on planes. Mm -hmm. But my parents have, when I was a kid, that was like alien. Because they just they just couldn't afford it, mm -hmm. like they had to drive everywhere. Mm -hmm. So it's like, uh, yeah, I think it's just cool to be able to do something. Obviously, the YouTube thing is just. I mean, I, I don't I don't chalk as much of it up to like I'd say it's ninety percent luck, and then just somewhere in the the five to ten percent skill and and hard work. I would say mm -hmm. truly luck. That's that's what I think that it is to just be able to, you know, wake up and make the decision to do it every single day. I'd say maybe in the beginning. Yeah, in now it's sure. yeah. 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 Now, like, now it's just Sigma grind to, set. To get your first viral video or let's say video that does well, maybe it's like, yeah. you know, 75, 90% work. Yeah. But after that, like there's a clear divide in content creators who have done their first viral video versus those who succeed over the yeah. Long, yeah. long term. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's work now. We know what to do now. Yeah. But like in the beginning, it Maintain. just felt so like just such a just gift yeah. from God, literally. Mm -hmm. But yeah. you also put mm -hmm. in the work with that because you would see, uh, you talked about earlier, like, hey, this they started doing 20,000 views a video and you're like, no, something has to change. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put in that effort. And that is the main message is it's still going to be work at the end of the day. You know, it is not just fun times. It is, hey, this is failing. Why is it failing? How do I modify that? For me, it was tits in the thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> thumbnail. That's all it took. Uh, <laughs> We're gonna hear his voice. face. Dude, I remember that was, like, jokes. that was like <laughs> the 2009 meta yeah. from YouTube. Like, oh my god. Yeah. No, I, I don't know. Yeah, it's definitely. I mean, I'll, I'm sure all of you guys can relate to that. Just you know, luck, a lot of luck. Yeah, a lot of luck. And then the work. I I, I do preface because it is how much, how many videos did you do before views actually happened? Mm. Um. Before, like, a m amount of views where I could sustain make money, yeah, uh, probably 400. This is like, I, yeah. I love you say luck with I know 400 <laughs> like videos behind so it. That is, I tell you what, when we say this, it is this yeah. dude took 400 videos while doing other shit in life, yeah, to get yeah. there. I would rather make 400 videos than work a week as a farrier. Yeah. Done. That's fucking yeah. hard. Yeah. Cause like, that's hard shit. Taking I people say, yeah. back always, and forth from islands is hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I can't even imagine. <laughs> I, I always say luck is just, uh, I, I, I kind of resent the term luck a little bit in a lot of the ways that people mm. use it. 
Because like a lot of it is, you know, actual skill and things, but a lot of it is just the ability to recognize opportunity, I think, and capitalize on it. Mm -hmm. Because it's like, okay, there's a lot of people who could be doing what we're doing. They just, they saw the opportunity to make a video about X or whatever. And they, you know, had the resources, had whatever. They just didn't. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think mm-hmm. I think I yeah. think I would speak to that uh, in terms of in terms of luck. What I'm what I'm saying is there's so many things that have been like stars aligning moments specifically yeah. for me. Like for my sure. parents showing me the right things. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. And yeah, me yeah. being yeah. raised and just yeah. you know, eighty percent of what I have now is just a result of me being having the parents that I have and like just things I have no control over whatsoever. So yeah. I would, and now it's like I it's my in my control. It's not going to stop now. I have like I'm confident. I have stability now. And you but, have, it, yeah, it's, it's like confidence, stability, and then the work ethic. Mm-hmm. Because yeah, it doesn't yeah, matter. It doesn't, I think everyone at the table, yeah. no matter how big you get, it's not like I made it, I get to take a break. Yeah, mm-hmm. no. Everyone is that. still driven as fuck to the point where it's like, cool, what's the next step yeah. on this plateau? Because right now I, I don't feel like I'm doing enough. That's for me personally. Yeah. I think all yeah. the guys mm-hmm. here. Yeah. Is, I never feel like I'm doing enough. Dude. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. I feel like a piece never. of shit. Yeah. yeah. It no. sucks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have a problem where I don't attribute things that happen to things that I'm doing like yeah. actively. Yeah. It's just like, you know, what am I, how do I, it's just momentum and just weird. It's yeah. strange. It's a weird world. Yeah. As unhealthy as that is, it's useful. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. Especially yep. for him. He's like, okay, I made a whole candy company. Now I'm going to make a video game or, or can I say that? Shit. No. You can. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. <gasps> Wait, hold Sorry. on. Go on. Sorry. Hold on. Uh, Sorry. Oh, do you not want to say that? Can we just, can, just say I can that? Just say, yeah, can yeah, we yeah. just say that? And that's Maybe. good. Okay. No, yeah, you can I say can that. Oh, I posted on, on, I you posted did. something on Instagram about okay. it. Anyway, he, he so. just keeps making more companies. Um, and just being a badass. And then I'm over here just like, I'm not doing enough. <laughs> so I'm just Dude. like, I'll invest in your company. <laughs> it's almost like it's really beneficial to be around people who oh, are doing bigger 100%. things. Because it makes you feel like a piece it's, of shit. Yeah, <laughs> right. So you're like, yeah. yeah, that's this whole friend I, like, group, I man. admire you and I hate you. Same time. Yeah. <laughs> damn it, I wanted to sleep you. in today. You. God damn it. No, no, it's, it's great. It's great to be around people that push you. Oh, it's so yeah. motivating. That, it's, yeah, that, dude, it's to, to motivate you. It's great. You connect because I cannot connect with people. It's like, I'm going to just watch. The football game today, like that's it yeah. all day, dude. Oh, all yeah. day, that is that is. Oh my god! Yeah, I like I, I've come to the resounding conclusion. Moving from the place we were living at to the new place, I haven't had as much of an interest to be on my computer. So mm-hmm. like when it gets dark and there's nothing to do outside, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Yeah, like and it was on the Christmas break. I wasn't recording or anything. I was way ahead. I was like, well, what am I supposed? Yeah. Do meth or something. Yeah. <laughs> I get it now. Yeah. I understand why people no, yeah. do crazy shit. Because, yeah. like, what else is there to do? Yeah. That was it's almost good. a motivation. <laughs> yeah. uh, yeah. No, but it's true. You need to, like, yeah. be a busybody and stuff. Mm-hmm. Same for you. What was your, like, hey, you broke out in, like, 2020. Mm-hmm. The nuke went off. Mm-hmm. You fucking blew up to 50 million subs yeah. in three days. Science. <laughs> It was over a period of time. But you you went from like, hey, I'm doing short form. I got this on lock. I'm doing this. Now I'm going to add characters. I'll add voices. I'll Mm -hmm. add all this. And now I'm doing long form in one year, essentially. And it was weird to navigate because I... Like I'm, I was just, I'm from like a little farm town in Canada. Like nobody around me does that, and I was too scared to ask anybody for anything. So I was just kind of figuring out myself. But I think um, mine was like right before all that happened because I was going through like some rough shit, and I was like on my deathbed in the hospital like three months before that. Which and is you, crazy. if you want to, you can talk about that because that's the stuff I think will motivate people. It's as we always talk about on on. So it's it's. It, the lows for people are different. You're going to have different lows across the board and then you can recover from those lows. There is never a bottom where you're like, this is the time that's just, it will never get better. It's like, no, 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 trust others. It can go fucking way worse and you can still pull yourself. Yeah. It's not linear. No, no, exactly. Like depression and all that stuff since I was really young, but I went through like, you know, eating disorders and all that kind of stuff. And that's why I was like in the hospital and everything. But you talk about it too. too. No, I do. And I'm really transparent about it because, because a lot of people are going through that as well. And it's just like, like, I don't want to promise anybody that like, you're going to be a YouTuber with this and this, if this happens, like, and that's where I think the luck thing comes in. But like, I, you know, got better and well, recovering or whatever. And I work hard at what I do and I like uh, apply myself. And I think that's, important but it, it's like it's this 
Yeah. Like I'm, I'm not like this all the time. You're not perfect. Right? Which I, I feel like a piece of shit saying that when I'm in this position. No, but, but it's you're there's still. a difference between saying like you'll get where I'm at. You'll yeah, be exactly that, like me versus no. hey, look, this is what I went through. Yeah, you can manage it. That's the thing. That's the yeah. thing. And like I, I was at some of the happiest points in my life when I was like a hairdresser in my parents' basement suite, and then. There was lows, and it's just like there's been different periods in my life where I'm not wasn't necessarily making like the money I do or having the su- success that I do where I was happy and not happy. So it's just, yeah, it's just um, it's it's not it's it's a very short period of time usually when you're in those like low points, and that's what I kind of have to keep repeating. But it makes those, it makes those high points so much more oh, amazing. Yeah, you're just so much more grateful. And like you, you're like, oh fuck, if I you know if I did that there, I wouldn't be where I am today. Yeah, and you, you don't have a frame of reference if you didn't eat shit for a while. Exactly. Oh, yeah, dude. Exactly. You gotta eat shit. You do. <laughs> you do. And it, it, you do. You may, it makes it more relatable to the people that are on the downturn of their life. It's like, sure. ah, man, you're not going through what I'm going through versus it's like, hey, I've had these list of issues. Mm-hmm. What I did was therapy, work through it. Had mm-hmm. I, it, Mental health is something super important. Mm-hmm. How do we get through it, though? And what made you the most happy maybe was like, hey, working on it. And then the success I found through mm-hmm. a working on it. It wasn't For you're like, sure. I was depressed as fuck. Yeah. And this came to existence. Yeah. It was yeah. hate. And it was like good and bad at the same time. Like I was like still not great. And then I blew up. And so everybody's watching me. And I'm like, oh, no, I have to be like stressful. I have it's- to be happy all the time. And then there was a really low point there when I was pretending to be happy. And then I was like, listen, guys. And I made it like my, I don't know, like, wait. 10th YouTube video, I was like, I'm sad. <laughs> like, and I was like, this is my, where I came from and this is this. I'm really sorry if I can't be like this like but fucking light that you need to be. But then I, I didn't know what to expect, but people were like, they supported they you that. through <laughs> that. Cool. And that's the most amazing thing is like yeah. having the uh, balls or vagina to put that on yeah. the internet. <laughs> yes, sir. Where you're yeah, like, hey, that, yeah. that big clit energy. Yeah, yeah that big <laughs> clit <laughs> energy. Yeah, I know. So yeah, for sure. And then putting it on the internet because it is something vulnerable. Yeah, for sure. You're like, no, hey, sure. I am not happy. Uh, just so you all know, yes, yeah. this stuff, fucking fantastic. Yes. I am still working on my past yeah. and the trials and tribulations I went through. Yeah. To get where I'm at. This is fucking dope, though. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. Helping. I know. Still got to work on the past. Ungra- I never want to come off as ungrateful because I'm not because I did come from nothing. And it's just like I pinch myself every day, which I'm sure all of us do. Oh, but, yeah. um, yeah, I'd say that's that's mine. It's just like I would, I would never think three years ago that this is where I'd be. No, but thank you for also, like, doing talking about therapy, yeah. talking about mental health and mm-hmm. all those important things because, it again, doesn't matter what you've went through through your life, therapy, fucking fantastic thing at yeah. the end of the day. You'll learn so much about yourself. Yeah. Cody, you're like, it, it, one of my favorite things about you is you are still as positive as you are. And you can talk about your first days on the cop, dude. Like, your bad days as a police officer, fucking terrible. Dead babies. Yeah. Like, literally, that is, and that yeah. is one of his first experiences as a, it's oh. like, and that is what, why you don't, like, you're not like, man, I can't wait to do fucking cop content. Yeah. Hi. yeah. <laughs> no, it, it got me where I where I am now. So I'm not going to quit on my audience completely. I got I to keep doing that. Got to keep that that grind up. Mm-hmm. But uh, the key to success is you you rescue a cat, right? Come under a dumpster and you <laughs> oh, just geez. put on Good Morning America. <laughs> <laughs> that was my initial boost of subscribers. Really? I haven't changed I that love that. Yeah, that. Yeah, I love Cody. Good- I, love I Cody didn't know that until, like, fucking... <laughs> A year or two into knowing yeah, Cody. So yeah, this I just is my started, favorite story. I just started a YouTube channel because okay. I, I, want, I wanted to be a YouTuber. I was like, fuck this police stuff, seeing too many dead babies. Yeah. So I started playing Minecraft. So I was a <laughs> Minecraft YouTuber and I had like 500 subscribers. I was doing well. Sick. And uh, I found a kitten in like a rainstorm underneath a, a dumpster and I put it on my shoulder and took a picture and then like it went viral. And it was on Good Morning America what? and like all these other places and shot me up to like 8,000, 9,000 subs. That's awesome. So that's how I got my first initial That's news. so cool. And then a good I started talking about people getting shot and people like that way more. Right. So. <laughs> that was the later. There we are. Fair. I love Fair. your break at first off. What's that kitty's name? Squirt. Is he still with you? Uh, the Mexican lady next door stole him. What? Not literally, but he won't come home anymore. He, she, I don't know what she's feeding him. Oh. Dude, Squirt, was, he first ran Kitty <laughs> Fight right. Club. 
Yeah, he ran a kitty fight club. This cat while. is this He's cat has trisoma dude. eighteen or trisoma twenty one. <laughs> Definitely has Down syndrome because the cat he does. eyes cat are. Down syndrome. He's a polydactyl, so he has thumbs, and he has Down syndrome. Oh, so he has yeah. the far eye. I eyes. take Scrabble word of the day away from you. Polydactyl is the new one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I didn't get it with trisoma. Damn. <laughs> I like, but my favorite story. Like, I think something's wrong with Squirt. This is years ago. It's like what. So I walked outside. Squirt was just standing there. All the other cats ran off, and Squirt was like, "This is mine." <laughs> and it was like blood. Or something. There was, <laughs> it was like blood and fur everywhere. He, <laughs> he was, like, he was like running. A, yeah, he was running a Fight Club. I'm imagining <laughs> this like a Dollar fucking bills. like a Meat Canyon video. Yeah, <laughs> totally. <laughs> like the cats yeah. scurry away. Oh my God. Yeah. So the, the, la- the lady next door still brings him over, and she's like, "You haven't seen him in a while. Would you like to hang out?" And so. I still go see him. He's got like a six he pack. Just, yeah, he just loves her house now, dude. <laughs> it's a jack. So, it's, it's Giga. <laughs> giga <laughs> cat. Giga squirt. Walking around with abs and show yeah. traps. He does What's up, Dad? <laughs> Love the Mexicans <laughs> next door. Yeah. I know, but you never fucking come home anymore. <laughs> and then yours, what? You, yeah. you, I'm watching yours. I remember talking to you in like 2018 or 19 at that hotel. Oh, you God, were, in Charlotte? Yes, yeah, and you were still... Hell. I talked to Cody at 20,000 subs. Hmm. So 20,000 subs, like, he was trying to be a janitor at Black Rifle. Yes, yeah. Oh, my God. I just wanted to get my foot in the door with their company. I never uh, read their content. Wow. Oh, yeah, this is back in the day. Wow. He got, he he was told no. And now, thankfully, he's- I'm glad you motherfuckers didn't hire me. (laughs) (laughs) And now he's very successful. He was told no. Yeah. (laughs) That's wild. I didn't even know that. Yeah. That's, probably, that's yeah. crazy. It's 2007. That's so cool. Yep. Yeah. Because you were like, bro, you want to play fucking uh, uh, PUBG? PUBG. Sometimes yeah. I was like, yeah, hundred percent, I'll play PUBG. <laughs> that's fucking. And insane. then it was at whatever hotel, and I remember yeah. talking to you, figuring your shit out, and I was like, holy shit, okay, this dude's dope as shit. We, I filmed, I want to say the Brandon <laughs> or the AK with demo, the AR. Video. Oh yeah, yeah, the AR versus AK video that he did because he was. Because he copied our first video that that ever really blew up. That was my mm. my big moment where I was at twenty thousand subs, and like we blew up to thirty thousand in a couple days after mm. that video. Like it was the it it really was my it was my first video that hit a million views. Like it was the one that kind of took off. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you you filmed the retaliatory video with Demo Ranch, which was funny as hell because like that video I remember people sent me that they're like, bro, Demo Ranch just stole your fucking content. Like they were upset, and I watched the video. I'm like, that's. Demo Ranch knows my name. (laughs) This is so fucking cool. And then he texts me like an hour or two after the video went live. He's like, hey, dudes, we just kind of did a parody of your video. You want to come out and film some content? And I'm like, dude, absolutely. I will. I'll fly out there next week. And but yeah, no, way back in the day, I forgot. Yeah, it was that uh, that hotel in Charlotte. We were hanging out and I was back in the time where it was it's that awkward phase where you're doing well enough on the Internet that people know who you are. Mm -hmm. You're not making any fucking money. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I was, you know, I had, I had some fucking issues back then where I was super stressed out. I wasn't sleeping. Um, came from like an entrepreneurial background, but I couldn't figure out how to make the pieces click. Mm-hmm. So that, that stress on me was very detrimental to my physical health, mental health. And um, eventually like that's, that's something I, I wish I could go back and tell my younger self is like, Hey dude, like you don't have to grind for no fucking reason. Grind, grind every fucking opportunity you have that makes sense. But if you're not actually doing something, like don't feel like you have to sp- stay up till 4 a.m. looking at Google Sheets because it's going to magically give you the answer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sleep, take care of your physical health, mm-hmm. and grind when it makes sense. And that, that's something I wish I could have learned earlier. I think it would have been yeah. better for me. And that's a takeaway. It is like, hey, manage it the best you can. You will be successful as long as you put in the work. It's going to be stressful as fuck. Take take a breather. Take a fucking moment in yeah. between your day-to-day. You guys, I'm assuming none of us took day-to-days, unfortunately. It's probably why we <laughs> no. are where we are. It was, <laughs> even to this day, it's still very hard to take a day off. We were talking about that with all of uh, you two. Probably the same. It's when you take a time off with your family, it's still like, Three days feels like an eternity, oh, yeah. and you're like, Fuck. after after day two, yeah. Is really oh, yeah. When you yeah if I'm not posting this, something, I'm like I'm yeah. failing. This Christmas, <laughs> I I got ahead. I got like a lot of videos ahead, um, and uh, that was the longest I've ever taken off since I started YouTube. The longest I have not filmed a video 
in like seven years, yeah. basically eight years. Yeah. Jesus. But like you had the content. <laughs> it's not like you didn't do the work, but it right. still feels like shit. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Cause that's what I do when I come yeah, to I was like, him. I like work. I was like on. walking around just like, what am I supposed to fucking do? <laughs> Cause I don't know what to film. Yeah. All my, everyone, all my employees are fucking, you know, jacking off and shit. Just fucking. <laughs> They're yeah. just fucking. The hell am I supposed to do? Nothing's <laughs> happening. Yeah. Live Christmas reaction, I guess. <laughs> it's hard because we have like five episodes in the can. And we're still right here filming an episode. It's like, yeah. you know what? We need to hit the New Year's hard. Right. This yeah. is the best way to do yeah. it. I'm currently feeling guilty because even though we've been doing all this shit with Unsub and we're filming a video right now, I'm currently feeling guilty because I haven't filmed a desk video mm-hmm. in like two mm-hmm. weeks. I need to go home and fucking do that. Mm-hmm. It's it's that yeah, sort it's, of grind people yeah. don't realize, even though you have multiple things going on. Like it's yeah. it's compounding, yeah. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I know. It's so fucking stressful. That being yeah. said, I would rather do this than almost yeah. anything else. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Cody, say it. Best job I ever had. Best job Best I ever job had. Best, ever Best job we have. <laughs> Very <laughs> thankful. I think we all yeah. say that. Cody, fucking close this house, and then we'll do the Patreon 10 minute. It's going to be a 10-minute episode. Super short. Do it. Bye, everyone. Unsubscribe podcast here. I was joined today by Eli Double Fat, Brandon Herrera, Call Me Chris, and Mr. Oompaville. Thank you for showing up and listening to us rant about stupid shit. Where can we find you beautiful humans at? Just look up Caleb. No. Just Caleb, if you type <laughs> in Caleb. That, that kind of works. No? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it actually does. Yeah. Caleb Francis. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, Francis pop no. up first? Yeah. <laughs> Oopaville. Oop. One of the greatest Oop-ville. content creators. Facts. On the platform. Fuck it. Absolutely. If, if we're yeah. watching these two individuals for ideas, it's a fucking hint on what you need to do in life. He's like, yeah, copy my shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shit, I don't have hey. to do it. I take it as a massive compliment. Yeah. <laughs> Chris, where do we find you? Call me Chris. With that's the name. K? With the K. K. Two there Ks. We go. Not three. Not three. That'd be three. problematic. Yeah. One of us. One of us. No, no, I'll believe it. And I'm never coming back. She falls <laughs> down with a ghost oh outfit. <laughs> <laughs> you said you did like ghosts. <laughs> God she's a ghost it. hunter. I she's walking. So good. Can't see shit out this fucking thing. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. I wasn't even That's drinking. Awesome. Anyway, thank you for Bye. watching the Bye. Subscribe Bye, Podcast. <laughs> we will see you, sexy YouTube mother lovers, in the next podcast. Bye. Bye.